And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. After our edition, we're joined seven lovely ladies. Let's get into it. Let's go. Nobody cares, bro. Get out. Get out. Yo, put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. All right, we're back. We're back, guys. Wait, is my mic good? It's good now. All right, okay. So, uh, guys, give me one second in the chat. My mic is good. Uh, all right, guys. So real quick, and now before we get into the show, uh, number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit. Right now, Rumble, I think, is I think down, down guys, because we were live on it. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. So uh, but check us out over there. Go follow us because in case we get canceled on YouTube, y'all know we'll know where we are we are at. Okay. Also, check us out on freshfit.locals.com. And then also check us out on megaphone. Okay, they got us. Cool, sweet. Cool. Um, also check us out on megaphone, guys. If you guys want to get the audio version of the podcast, um, we got the daytime and the nighttime show. We just did a fire show on Ben Shapiro. Uh, and why traditional conservatives are really wrong when it comes to modern day dating. Um, so go check that one out after this show, of course. Very good show. And they get the merch, freshfitpodcaststore.com. And then also, guys, check us out on Fresh Fit Clips. On there, we post uh, six clips per day, 10 shorts per day, 16 videos pretty much a day. That's a lot. On there, man. That's a lot of content, man. So go check us out over there on Fresh Fit Clips, man. Nobody's putting out more content than we are. And then also Fresh Fit Vlog. And guys, tomorrow we're traveling to Houston, Texas, man. If you want to see behind the scenes, look at the vlog channel. Tunji Gun Away. Let's go. And then check me out, guys, on Fedit. If you guys like uh, true crime type stuff, I cover all types of crimes. I cover serial killers, uh, mass shooters, the Trump indictment, everything. I covered recently the Nashville shooting, the Trump indictment. I'm going to drop Ed Guy tomorrow and then uh, John Benet Ramsey on Sunday. So, yeah, man, go check out Fedit 1811. Uh, completely different types of content over there. So, yeah, go check it out. And then, Chris, oh, actually, yeah. And also, guys, don't forget to go ahead and get my book, which is the Amazon bestseller right now Why Women Deserve Less. Hardcover, paperback. <laughs> And also on audio and Kindle, man. So go check it out, guys, um, over there. Link is below. It's only 80 pages because, well, you know, of course. Why, why Yo, she's like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Get the book, guys. Uh, all right. What about you, Chris? And uh, ladies, DM me at RC Pox on IG. Uh, I will get back to you if you send me a DM. Uh, if you're from out of state, out of town, I will answer your DMs. Ladies, don't don't be afraid to have girls four days down the line. I still haven't answered yet. Because y'all niggas keep sending me DMs about come on to the show. Nah, niggas, if you have a dick. You're not coming on the show, okay? Do not DM me. Join Fresh CEO Network, which is now closed. When he reopens, opens the network, <laughs> then you fucking do that shit, okay? But stop sending me DMs. I got like 40 DMs with you guys spamming shit, so. Yeah, Chris is only for girls, man. So there you go. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. Ladies on the panel, give us your name, your age, what you, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want, of course. Your body count. And we'll start right here. My name is Cassandra. I'm 18. And... I'm currently taken. Oh, nice. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from here. Miami? Yes. Uh, did you, I guess, highest education level complete is high school? Yes. And then how long you been in a relationship? For a year now. Okay. All right. Who's up next? Um, my name is Alexandra. I'm uh-huh. 24. I was born in Jersey, raised down here in Florida. Okay. Um, what part of Florida? Broward, Miramar, okay. Pemberpine. Okay. So you went to high school down here? Yes. Okay. And then highest education level completed? I'm in college right now for ultrasound technician. Okay. Were you here before or no? No. First time? Mm-hmm. No familiar. All right. Uh, so you're pursuing your bachelor's degree or like, is it like a... Uh... At first it's an associate's degree and then afterwards my bachelor's. Okay. And uh, relationship status? Single. All right. What about you? My name is Brittany. I'm from Broward County. I'm 24 and also single. I did about four years of college. You have your bachelor's? No. <laughs> because I transferred from schools because I was okay. in track and field and then COVID hit and oh, you know, like all coronavirus. That. Okay, so you, so you're running track like D1 or what? Yeah. Okay, so where are you running track before? UCF. And then I went to Bethune Cookman. You went to where? Bethune Cookman after. Uh, where's that? Bethune. In Daytona. Okay, all right. And then, uh, okay, so did you have to redshirt one year and then, or did you not continue to run track anymore? No, I ran track at both schools. Okay. So, but did they make you, they made you sit out a year, right? 
Aren't you? If you don't, if you transfer, there's a no. Oh, a men's sports they make you sit out for a year. <laughs> okay, they make you redshirt. So okay, so um, <clears throat> so you, I guess, are you gonna go back and get your bachelor's or? Yeah, I'm gonna finish at FAU, but no running. Okay, so high school is the last thing you finish, and then uh, relationship status? Single. Single. What do you do for work? I'm a distribution operator at a Publix warehouse. Okay. And then what about you? What do you do for work? Are you just a full-time student? Uh, no, I work at a plasma center. Okay, so you like be taking people's blood? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so are you, are you a fellow bottomist pretty much? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what about you? What do you do for work? I'm a lash artist. Okay. All right. What about you? My name's Thais, and I'm from France. Th- Thais? Thais, yeah. Okay. All right. How old blue. What? How old are you? <laughs> I'm 20. 20? Okay. That was Chris. Well, yeah. And you said you're from France, Paris, or? Uh, south of France, Marseille. Oui, oui. Marseille? Oui, oui. <laughs> That's all I know. Okay. Highest education completed? Uh, no, like I'm currently in my bachelor's degree in okay. international business. Okay. And you... I'm also working uh, in Miami at Vendome. Okay. Wow. And... That's where I know you're from. Oh, yeah. Vendome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's run by the French boys. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Shout out to them guys, man. So you're in college right now here in Miami? Yeah, uh, no, in France. But like right now, it's like my exchange year. So like I'm not okay. a student right now. All yeah. right then. Um, so in college, and then you said, you, were you like a bottle girl or something? Or? No, I'm a host. I just walk clients to the table. Okay. She's yeah. classy with it, bro. Okay. Yeah. And also like I'm working on this app with my friend. It's called RatesMyPromoters.com. Mm. And it's basically like to find the best promoters in your city everywhere. <laughs> okay. Cool. And then what's your status? Single, relationship, sugar daddy? Single. Single. Nah, single. Okay. What about you? Hi, I'm Barb. I'm 25. I am in a relationship and I am a yoga instructor and a model. Highest degree completed as a master's. Okay. Nice. Um, where are you from? Brazil. Uh, like you went, you were raised there? I was born and raised there, yeah. Okay. Like oh. you went to high school there and everything? No, I went up until like elementary school. Okay. So where'd I, you go to high school? Here in Florida. Broward? No, Boca, like Palm Beach. Okay. So, and your long- yoga, yoga instructor, you said you got a master's degree in what? Uh, health administration. Okay. How long have you been with your man? It's been almost three years. Awesome. Good mm-hmm. job. Keep it up. Okay. Plan on it. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. And uh, and then you're from, uh, you said Boca, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. What about you? Hey, y'all. <laughs> so my name is teresa um i'm 29 and i what What do you do for i um i'm a model for instagram okay model yeah basically all right and then what's your highest education level completed uh some college i didn't complete college so So high school basically and then uh what's your relationship status single all right. Don't stare at the camera. You look weird. You can, you can look at everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> She's like so scared to care about this. <laughs> I think it's Chris's fault. Okay. Cool. How about you? Hi, my name's Melissa. I'm 18. I'm single. I'm from Michigan, and my highest level is I dropped out of high school, so up to junior year. And right now, I work for Fresh and Frit, so I recruit girls. Welcome back. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> So if you want to come on, DM me. And I'm also an assistant. There you go. Uh, And then what's your relationship status nowadays? Single. Still? Goddamn, man. Come on. Keep it on to the screen. Uh, Okay. (laughs) Um, And oh, and then where'd you get your master's degree and your bachelor's from, by the way? FAU. FIU for both? FAU. FAU for both. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then who else? You, you, okay. Do you guys want to drop where you go to school or not? It's up to y'all. Okay. All right. Never mind. Uh, cool. I think we're we're good here. Yep. So, guys, just so y'all know, um, we're not going to be here for Friday. So, this will be a call in slash super chat question. All show. in one. So, all in one for you guys. Um, we'll probably you got we already got six thousand plus y'all in here. So, don't forget to like the video on your way in, and we'll go ahead and hit the first chat. And then we'll also we got the phone lines open as well. Um, what's Chris? Call it. What do you think? uh right now uh 20 and up all right so if y'all want to call into the show and we answer it it's got 20 and up all right um but if you want to super chat it in uh you know basically the way it works is for all the people that are new to the call-in show you put you basically super chat the last four digits of your number so chris can go ahead and find you all right yep cool so we got bmt here shout out to myron for that fire rant last stream by the way the new reddit is r length 
All right, length, length or girth, they're making fun of you. <laughs> it's the same, guys, as last time, and we're almost at 1K members. All right, yeah, guys, go check out the new Fresh and Fit Reddit, man. Shout out to y'all. Cool. I actually do be watching it, lurking in the Reddit, and I get a lot of critiques from there and try to make the show better for you guys. So check it out over there. Jared Choi, five bucks. When a guy DMs, DMs you on IG, what weighs more? The amount of followers he has, the type that follows him, famous people, or the content or the blue check? That's a very good question, actually. Right, go ahead, let's go around the table on it. Ladies, what's your thoughts on this? What matters more? Blue check, followers, content, or who follows him? Mm, the amount of followers he has. I don't like him. Followers, you know, like from low key. You want to stop yelling at us? <laughs> so you want less followers? Yeah, you speak up a little bit. From your guy? Yeah. What's the perfect, perfect like, amount, like you would say, for you? 5K, 10K, 20K? Under. 1K? Under, yeah, 1K. Wow. Under. Okay. The followers, low amount. Yeah. Okay. You say a lot. Nice. <laughs> what about you? What was the reason? So the question is basically, what matters more? Blue check, followers, who follows them on Instagram when they DM you? Or the content. Maybe the content. Okay. To see like what they're interested in. That's okay. the most important. All right. To see if we'll match. What's like one thing that would like stand out to you? Travel, food? Cars, lifestyle, chicks. <laughs> no, not chicks. <laughs> um, probably traveling. See where they've gone. Travel. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. What about you? I would say the content for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, if a guy has like a whole bunch of like thirst trap and uh, pictures and stuff, they what's a male thirst trap? In your opinion, we, like, we want to hear shirtless, the printout, like you're seeking attention from other women. So how am I special if you DM me? Okay, so you mean if he has like pictures of himself shirtless and stuff with other stuff? She means like, promote, the, like the, the L print. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you think though that that has the same effect as a girl that starts trapping for her looks? Oh yeah, I don't I don't do those type of stuff. So so you think a guy that posts pictures of himself that's in good shape shirtless is this equivalent to a girl posting a picture of herself on a bikini no it's it's how he's doing it i feel like merch like if it's just like one post after a post after a post after a post and you just okay let's say if all things yourself. are equal and the girl posts sexual pictures and the guy posts sexual pictures what do you think is going to get more attention like out of the female or the guy yeah the female okay so do you think it's actually the same then yeah as a guy thirst trapping I never said it was different. Well, I mean, you're trying to say that it's... You asked me, like, <laughs> what matters. I said the content. Yeah, yeah, but you're saying, like, oh, yeah, but I don't like it when guys thirst trap. And I'm asking, does no. it have the same power as a woman that's thirst trapping? I'm not trying to get a woman. Okay, I think you missed what I'm trying to... Get Stupid! Her. But, okay, that's fine. We'll we'll continue on. So you care about the content, but you don't want them thirst trapping. If they want to thirst trap, they can thirst trap, but they're just not for me. Okay. Like he ain't the one. They can yeah. do anything they want to do, but for me, no. I would argue that a man posting pictures of his body and stuff like that isn't the same, isn't really a thirst trap. If anything, he's going to get more dudes commenting saying, yo, nice abs, bro. Yeah. I beg to differ. Well, <laughs> I mean, I could pretty much tell you you're incorrect <laughs> because men thirst trap differently. Men thirst trap with their lifestyle, girls thirst trap with their bodies. Yeah. Cars, mm -hmm. lifestyle, travel, crush. <clears throat> yeah. You're going to get more comments uh, from dudes when you're in good shape than girls by far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Myron. <laughs> this All is right. the most charismatic panel yeah, I've ever man. seen. Holy this shit. This is awesome, guys. Yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, yeah. What about you? Uh, I'd say co uh, content too. Content? To see, like, to see his look, like, how he looks like. I mean, yeah. Like, his interests. Same. We just say, like, dress, how he dresses? Does yeah. that matter? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> So, okay, what matters to you the most? Is it, like, the cars, the lifestyle, the dress? No, like, yeah, how it looks, like, if he travels, if we have, like, the same interests. I mean, yeah. I don't care if he's rich, if he has cars. You don't care? No. So he could be Stop broke? the cap. He could be <laughs> flat broke? I mean, not broke broke, but, you know. Okay. It's okay. When Stop the cap. She's at Van Dome all day, dealing with ballers, man. Fuck <laughs> out of here, bro. Come on, man. Wait, Rick, Rick Ross. Ladies, let me tell you something, bro. You, you guys don't got to lie to look cool on the podcast. We're going to call I you out if you lie. I lie. Yo, I swear, you're like, around rich men all day. You're telling me you, you'll date I a broke guy? Them. That's what I I'm trying to say. Them. I don't fuck with them. Oh. So who do you fuck with? 
<laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, I do my thing, but money is not like. Sounds like thing. she she likes a genuine guy. Yeah, basically. like connection, real connection. If he's like nice to me and stuff. I've seen you before. For real? I know yeah. you love connection. What? Nothing. <laughs> I'll save it for later. That's bullshit, bro. Like she said, a uh, uh, genuine connection, blah blah blah. The dude was broke. A he's, money connection. No connection, bro. There's a money no connection. connection, man. No, like, but like not. I said like not broke, broke. But if he's rich, all right. Or what like, is what is broke, broke? Explain that. What is that? Hmm. It's like if he doesn't have any money, like we cannot go on activities, not travel together no and stuff. Okay. So you won't do broke, broke. So tell me what broke is then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like, You're the one that said it. Yeah, broke is, I mean, yeah, if he doesn't like, I don't know, like do shit he for He can pay me. for it sometimes, but not so all So you literally said something, but you I don't know what it means. I know what it means. It's just like if, I don't care if he's rich. Mm -hmm. But like a 50-50 you know, basically. 50-50 yeah. and a balance, right? Like you so can afford, but dates? you got me and I got you type thing. Yeah, right? no, yeah. I mean he has to You'll pay for dates? No. Nah. Oh, no, he gotta pay. 50, then. He gotta pay. <laughs> I mean, he has to pay, but just like yeah. be gentleman. If he's broke, broke, he's not gonna pay because he cannot. Mm -hmm. But if he's just broke but he tries, it means that like uh he can't. Okay, he tried, but the know? card got declined. Now what? What? I said he tried, but now the card got declined. Now what are you gonna do? No, no, you got paid for I'm gonna pay for it, but I'm just not, not gonna see cow. him again. Peace. <laughs> au revoir. Yeah, au revoir. Au revoir bro. <laughs> okay. Well, what about you? Definitely the content. Content. Mm -hmm. How'd you meet your boyfriend? Instagram? No, we used to work at the same job. Mm. What okay. job? We were in sales. It was awful. Okay. But no more. But yeah, I, I feel like if Words. a man has like content that's like something I'm interested in, like whatever it is, then that's a good sign. Does he still do that job? No. Is he still in sales? Okay. Is he the breadwinner in your relationship? No, we're both breadwinners. Okay. Stop the cap. There's always got to be one breadwinner. Like, yeah. you can't have two breadwinners. So one person typically earns more than the other. I mean. So he earns more than you? I don't know. It depends, I guess, on the month. We both have our own thing going. Okay. On an annual basis, who earns more money, you or him? I don't know. We've been together for like almost three years. I don't ask him what he makes on the, on the annual basis. It's not the only thing that matters to me. Who uh, pays most bills? Um, probably him. Doesn't mean he's the better He's just more of a gentleman, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so he's he he just an angel for three years, and you have zero idea of how much he brings in. Come I'm, on, I don't do his taxes every year for him. Do y'all live together? We do, but I don't ask him. Hey, how much did you take home this year? I mean, are you I have an idea, but I'm not gonna like be like, oh, he makes exactly this to the penny. Hey, babe, I'm just curious. How much did he make this month? I mean, what I don't. Else? I guess I don't annual basis. I cannot spit out a number because I don't know. So what if he's? No, you definitely know. You wouldn't be sticking around for three years and live with him if you didn't know. Come on, man. You have an idea. Women, women take bets on futures here, and you're taking a bet on his future, so you definitely know where he is in the present. You have an idea, right? I have an idea. Okay, she has an idea. That's what I'm trying to say. She's trying to say she doesn't. She definitely knows. I never said I didn't. I said I don't know the exact amount. You have a very good idea that I guarantee is probably pretty accurate. That's fine. I can admit if he's a breadwinner, if I am, it's not like I'm ashamed about it. If I wasn't or he was, we're just, we're pretty equal, I guess, but probably him. And that's fine. Okay. Does he edge you out significantly or just a little bit? Does he what? Does he edge you out significantly or just a little bit? Um, I don't know. It's a little bit, I guess. <laughs> so when, I'm just curious. When you make your money, right? Mm -hmm. You don't pay bills, right? I do. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Half and half? No, probably not half and half. He pays the most. So he probably, it's probably, probably like 80 20? 70 30. Okay, he's, mon he's making all the rules, right? Hell no. Where it's a partnership. <laughs> he's not like my owner, I'm not his owner. What the fuck? Partnership is 50 50. Okay, does it mean that like he can't pay more than in some things? I don't know. Okay. It's all right. Misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm good. Okay, wait. What was misogynistic? I'm confused. How dare you challenge me? Oh, no. I mean, I don't mind being challenged, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with the guy just saying, hey, I'm going to pay for X amount, whatever, more just because I want to be doing this. Well, hold on, hold on. Number one, what does misogynistic mean? It means like you're kind of being condescending towards a woman because of the fact that I guess men should be more superior because. He pays 20% more than what I would pay in the 70-30 amount, I guess. 
It's, it's actually more 20, like 40%. 20%, percent, but, yeah. uh, but, well, uh, I mean, misogynistic is actually the hatred or contempt of women. It's not being condescending. Being, not being condescending necessarily. But what did he say about that that was condescending? You just asked the question. It's just assuming that just because he pays for more than I do, that it means that we're not partners in life. I mean, it's not really a like a like the way you're trying to frame it is like it's an equal partnership, but it clearly isn't. I mean, if he pays for a couple more things than I do, it doesn't mean that we're not equally like respectful of each other and care about each other equally. But it's not a little bit more, it's significantly more. I just don't think it's all about like money. I think partnerships a partnership is more than just money. But in the context that we were speaking about, it was about money. Okay, then so be so, it. I mean, but I don't think I don't see where the misogyny comes into that. Like that you just threw that word out there for no reason. We think yeah. a man should provide, hundred percent. Yeah, we think a man should provide. Definitely. So, okay, that's fine. And men, and men in general are superior to women in a lot of things. That's fine. We're not, we're not equal at all. I mean, that's not misogynistic. That's realistic. Okay. And in general, right? Like, if a girl, right, pays a majority of the bills, those relationships don't work, statistically speaking. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. I, I mean, you're just incorrect in your assessment. That's all it really comes down to, which is teachers on. I'm sorry. Teachers on. No, you're you're wrong. Like, I mean, you just use the word misogynistic incorrectly. That's fine. Then I said it incorrectly. Fair enough. If you acknowledge you're wrong, that's fine. Always. Okay. I don't need the sarcasm though. We can move on. Uh, what are we at here? What about you? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, because I, I know it's kind of a long-winded answer here, but. Question is basically for content wise, I'm sorry, for Instagram wise, if a guy DMs you, what, what matters most? Insta the content. Content? Mm -hmm. Why? The the content. Why? I mean, I'm, I like content. So, I mean, I'm like, we know I, your Instagram is. So, I mean, content. it's, you know, it's like, I like, I look at it as art, you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, art. Well, what content. catches your eye basically? Like, is it like, for example, looks, dress, lifestyle, the, cars? The looks, like, you know, like, what do you go not, for? Not necessarily like facialized, like, but you know, like the what he's wearing. The style, you know? yeah, the style. Okay. What about you? Um, I would say the content, but I don't really think like any of it matters, to be honest. Because mm. I feel not like a cow. not like that, but like I feel like your lives on social media can be super faked. So it's like if you're posting in nice clothes, nice cars, sometimes it can be fake. Just like it goes for both ways, like girls and guys. Okay. So, yeah. so you're telling me followers don't matter and blue check doesn't matter either. Well, you can buy blue checks and followers. Now you now. can, but so before you could. Like, you can buy followers too. Exactly. You can buy followers. You yeah, could have been by followers. But on some level, though, everyone does it. But at the same time, it doesn't matter because if he's successful, if he has a following, isn't that better? No, because it has to match up with the numbers, with, with, with the, as far as on the pictures. So that means content. We're going to always go back to content. You know, I like how all the girl, a majority of the girls said content, but the reality is they didn't really specify what kind of content they want. <laughs> like, come on, man, ladies, y'all are looking at lifestyle, like what the guy is capable of earning, how he lives his life, types of things he has. Like y'all aren't like content. Yeah. Like if he was out here giving like financial advice or fitness advice or something, y'all would not give a fuck. It's really <laughs> about, okay, does this guy have a nice watch? All right, cool. Does he have money? All right, damn. Okay, I like this. I think that's the type of content you guys are looking at. I mean, you guys could feel free to disagree if you like, but... That's your opinion, I actually though. do. That's yeah. my opinion. I actually... Yeah, that you, you have your own opinion. We're entitled to our own opinion. Mm -hmm. So you have your own opinion. Like, nah, if I see somebody that's working out and I'm like, damn, he look good. He doing that shit really good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to follow him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, like... Or what about like if he's like sharing financial advice or like whatever it is, something that's actually educational and makes you think, OK, he's obviously intelligent and it's attractive. Some people are into that. That wasn't the question, though. The question was phrased more from like being attracted to that guy. Like physically. Immediately. Yeah, it was he, being it was like because he was asking in the context of when you look at a guy's profile from a more romantic standpoint, not oh. like from a content absorber standpoint. Well, if you're looking at something like you were saying, I like was about to say, out. I like it goes back to what I just said. Yeah. If he looks good and he's working out because you just said something about fitness. If he's looking good and he's working out, I'm going to be like, damn, he looks good. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Are you going to look yeah. right? Like, yeah, yeah, he looks good. So I'm going to like him. I'm going to like, but what's up? See, I'm going to me. I don't sit here and just go into nobody's DM. I'm going to play fish. I'll follow you. He's going to hit me up. And that there we go. You know, that's just it. But like that's that's my standpoint on as far as in like content on me seeing somebody for the first time. That's my standpoint. So basically, you, you're you saying, know what I'm saying you're saying in a nutshell, once it looks good and works out, he got you. 
No, I'm just saying content, going back to that. So, yeah. But you can tell how attractive content. a guy is by, like, the same thing. Like, we were saying, like, financial advice or whatever it is. You can see if he's good looking or not by that. No? Because well, there's a bunch of, fitness, of, you know, financial gurus on there. But girls aren't, like, flocking and to line up to, to date that guy. I'm just saying, you guys are saying it's content and you guys are kind of being a little ambiguous about it. But we know what girls look look for when they're looking at a guy's content on YouTube on uh, on Instagram. Like, <sighs> men, women thirst trap with their bodies, men thirst trap with their lifestyles. I thought somebody was gonna keep it real. Yeah, no one kept it real though. It's she, fine. It's she totally almost cool. did, but then yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, cool. Lines or what? Phone lines or no? Uh, no. Okay. There's... Blackest Panther, ladies, name three countries excluding the United States. I'll get y'all started: Wakanda, Kazakhstan, Madagascar. All right, okay, guy. cool. All right, we'll start. With, well, Melissa, go ahead. Name three countries. Um, let's do China, Italy, and Brazil. All right. Okay. What about you? And ladies, just What's the question again. I'm sorry. One caveat here. You Three can't countries. repeat whatever she said. Yep. Okay. Re you said repeat. You can't repeat whatever countries she said. Earlier. Okay. So yeah. I just need to know what the she said. China, Italy, and uh, what's the question? Right here. Three countries. <laughs> Brazil. And Brazil. Name three countries. Uh, America. <laughs> You can't name USA. Uh, Canada. Okay. 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 There you go. One, two more. Um, Antarctica. Um, I'm, 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 I'm Africa. Um, Australia. All right. What's the capital of Africa? Um, South. Is it South Africa? Bomboka. All right. We'll continue on. <laughs> what continent? about you? Name three countries. England, Portugal, and Spain. All right. Cool. You? Russia, Armenia, and Colombia. Okay. Okay. Asia. Europe. <laughs> you got one more. Go ahead. One more. That's only a hundred left. Nigga said Asia. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> All right. We'll move on. Yeah. <laughs> what about your name? Three countries, please. Um, Uruguay, El Salvador, Paraguay. Cool. Cool. What about you? Europe, Brazil. Europe, Brazil, and turkey denied fantastic <laughs> europe africa and asia are all continents ladies <laughs> Yo, that shit always gets up, bro. God damn. all right question for the ladies what do you bring to the table in a relationship besides sex okay all right start, start here we could we could go start here and then work our way so he's asking what do you bring to the table into a, a relationship outside of fornication Shoot. For example, to your man, what do you bring to him other than sex? Love, emotional support. Um, yeah. Is that what animals do? <laughs> emotional You're like, support. I'm an animal around. <laughs> All right. What about you? Um, support, trust, loyalty. All right. What about you? Support. Um, loyalty, stability, reassurance, security, encouragement. Security in which way? There's a lot of uh, low-key insecure guys out here. So, how is how are our men insecure? Guys like to um, not all guys, but some guys like to pursue women mm -hmm. that are very attractive to them mm -hmm. and once they get them it's like it's a problem how they carry themselves now now it's like oh you're posting for attention or you're doing this for attention but it's like you were attracted to me because of that or sell something in me to want to be in a relationship because of that and now it's a problem because i'm still doing it all right let's go into a dream world real quick all right let's say you worked up and saved two hundred thousand dollars Right. You worked really hard and you saved this money up and you put it in your account and you're finally able to buy that Mercedes you've been waiting to buy. All right. And you go to dealership, you purchase it, drop that money. OK, all cash because you're balling, doing well in life. And you own the car. You've been driving it around for a few weeks at this point. And then the dealer comes back and tells you, hey, I need you to put a for sale sign on your car when you drive it around. How'd that make you feel? Like, what the fuck? Right. Yeah. OK, fantastic. That's exactly how men feel about women. Once I deal with you and you're my girl, mm -hmm. you're effectively off the market. Mm -hmm. Having a for sale sign on you is disrespectful to me and the work that I've put in 
to attract you. But what do you mean by for sale sign? Like, what's an example of like a woman projecting themselves as like a the example sign? you just gave before, dressing provocatively, putting themselves out I didn't there on say social anything media. About dressing you did mention not, like, but no, for guys, because you were saying for men, that's nope. how men view it. No shirts on, L print. Mm -hmm. Girls can do it too. Okay. Women they're sharp with their bodies. Mm -hmm. So the analogy I gave you is how men feel when a girl wants to still be outside and do these things. Like you're, cause you're saying, well, you would, I attracted you and you met me when I was like this. Well, yeah, it's time to take the for sale sign off your neck. So like posting a regular selfie that, that he knows that other guys are going to find attractive is a problem still. I mean, yeah, it's fairly disrespectful to the man. So post your face. I mean, let's be honest here. Most girls don't just post their face. They post, okay, but I'm talking they post about their bodies, they thir selfie. maybe thirst trapping, whatever it may be. And what I'm just saying That's is understandable, but I mean, like, just regular picture. I mean, guys, like, want to put a female why, why, in their why pocket. Post it, though? Why, why post it if you have a man? Why post yourself on your social media? Yeah, just keep it on your phone. Why you got to post it for the internet to see? All right. That's very toxic. <laughs> okay it's very like oh i'm in a relationship with you you can't post yourself on social media anymore and well, attract attention i mean you didn't say it was yourself. toxic it is, you didn't say it was toxic a second ago when i asked you about buying a new car and then i asked them putting a for sale sign on it i said it was like what the fuck exactly like what the fuck like that that's how you like you paid all this money for it and it's you work to earn that money you have the car now that you dreamed of and they want you to still put a for sale sign on it that's how men feel about their girl so you're saying like once a guy gets in a relationship with a girl she has to just like go ghost off everything it's not about go ghost but it's about respecting your man if you're in a relationship right and you and you're still posting pictures of yourself all over the place and you're still making it appear as you may be available that's disrespectful to the man to a degree it's the same exact analogy why is it when i asked you right how do you feel about a for sale sign on your new car you had an issue with that and then i tell you that's how men feel and you're like that's toxic see how it doesn't make you, sense you, you switched it to provocative i said nothing about provocative. it's an analogy right? okay <laughs> it's an analogy i'm trying okay, to put so, you so in the if, shoes of the man okay so what if the guy is still posting the same type of stuff the girl's just not supposed to care about it men don't have the same market pull that women do that's what i was trying to describe to you earlier okay so you can take the most attractive okay. guy right you take a guy that's a 10 mm -hmm. right nice jawline in shape etc mm -hmm. he posts a picture of himself so, you know himself shirtless you take a girl that's average not even in good shape in a bikini in a bikini she posts a picture of herself that girl is going to get 11x as much attention as that guy. But they're doing the same thing. Exactly, but they don't get the same results. Yeah. Men and women are not the same. Is that not a double standard? That's life. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's not fair many. that you can get on a boat tomorrow with millionaires and I can't, but okay. that's life. Mm -hmm. It's not fair that you don't have to pay to get into a club, but I do. It's not fair that if she recruits you to go to the club, you get in for free, but I have to get the table. It's okay. not free. Fair, is it? So oh. life is, once I'm in a relationship, I can't be myself on my mm. social media. No, no, no. You could be yourself, but you got to understand that some guys might not like that. And okay. men that typically have standards and, you know, have the ability to attract other women might not tolerate you still advertising yourself as if you're single. The same way how you said earlier that if a man posts pictures of himself, what a shirt, you don't take him seriously, they might, take you, they might do the same for you as well. Opposite. Okay. Same way. I mean, I just gave you the analogy. Like, literally, how you feel about putting a for sale sign on your car is how men feel about their women. And I would argue it's not insecure to be that way. If anything, it's insecure for me to tolerate that because I'm scared that you'll leave me. So I'm insecure about where I stand in the relationship. But if I'm secure in the relationship, I'll tell you to your face, I don't like that. And I'm uh, okay with you leaving. I'm very secure myself. Okay. But women try to flip it around and say, you telling me that you have boundaries and standards and all this other stuff is insecure. It's actually the opposite. Very secure because he's telling you, I don't like this, and he's willing to let you walk away. Okay. Fantastic. All Lovely. Right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, what was the? Uh... Damn it. Go pull, pull it back up, Chris. <laughs> this is so much going on right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you bring to a relationship besides sex? Because she was saying she provides security. Yeah. And then uh, that's the whole how the whole insecurity thing started. Mm. So let's let's say you find a boyfriend here in Miami. What do you bring to him other than sex? I mean, though. a lot of things, like like she said, loyalty, mm -hmm. I mean, love, attention, uh, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, but security isn't loyalty too, because I wasn't like, like, I didn't agree with what you said. You didn't like, agree with what? You took like the example of a car. Yeah. But, like, we are in car. Like, was the... <laughs> Yo, Mar I, mean, I don't get room, it. Room, Mar no, like, you just... not cars. I mean, I don't get the point. It's like, an analogy. No, I know, but like... If I'm single, I yeah. post like picture of myself. It's yeah. not for men. It's for me. I oh, like, really? Yeah. I like my profile to be like, I like 
to if make it's for you then why good. do you got to put on internet why yeah. not just keep it in your full camera roll and look at it yeah keep it so in your phone. when you post on instagram you're like oh i'm gonna make like i'm gonna get a woman that's me yeah yeah that's you the know, difference i'm like, honest about it you know like i don't really i don't even respond to dms that's like, fine but you still like the attention bruh really i mean we all like the attention but okay i don't really do it for men um, you do it for the attention from men which is the problem <laughs> no it's not about that you I take mean, pictures for yourself yeah you put I makeup do. on for yourself yeah you do your hair for yourself yeah because you i wear heels look for yourself. Good. I swear i'm not gonna like have a good day if i look ugly if and it's all about me i don't care what they're okay. gonna think if you do it for yourself do you go to sleep with makeup on because that's dirty Okay, do you do you uh do you go to That's sleep bad hygiene, with your dress on <laughs> I mean, yeah. and your what? heels on? Do you go to sleep with your dress and your heels on too? What's the point? I'm sleeping. The point I'm trying to make is that women lie to themselves and say they do no. things for themselves. No. no, you do it for the express interest of no. the opposite gender. I do it for myself. I swear. Like it's not about men. Of course, okay. if I'm single, she's I secure. Can't sleep and she's secure about secure. herself. That's like just I'm it. confident. Yeah. You're insecure. That's what <laughs> it's, it's common you're sense. Not to that. Yeah. Wait, I'm it's insecure? just like it's I'm common saying, sense. If like, it take all of that, she's secure about herself. It sounds like whoever you're describing or yeah. yourself. We're not saying you, but it sounds like well, you're ins insecure. You're giving insecurity. Yeah, Myrene, that's I what quite, I'm saying. I like in general, like you, in general, it just sounds like you're ago? insecure. Did I? Did you not hear what I, I said about insecurity? Okay, before? so repeat what you said. I'm so you sorry. weren't even listening. No, you said just, it makes you insecure if you don't speak up. You're saying exactly. My right. for men, it's opposite. Like because my, here's the thing, ladies. I don't agree. Yeah. You don't agree? Okay. No, but keep on. Like explain. Well, yeah, I mean, she just made an argument in bad faith. She didn't even know what I said, and she's arguing. Like, no, 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 no. I want to be. I, wanna, I just want to be clear. That's it. Well, I just want to be clear. That's all. For, well, well you, you aren't. You're not. Because oh, okay. if you're going to make an argument for something and argue against something, you need to understand what that person said, right? Take it in, understand, then rebut it, you know, from an educated standpoint. You're just speaking to speak at this point because you're saying that's insecure. I quite literally describe why it's not insecure. Okay. I'll do it one more time for you. Okay. It's actually insecure if you don't have the balls to tell your girl what it is and have boundaries okay. because you're not sure of where you stand with that woman. So therefore, you're scared of what she may do. But having boundaries and standards and expressing it to your woman actually means you're very secure because you're willing to let her leave. Most men don't have the balls to tell women, I don't like that. I prefer if you didn't. And if the girl says, well, I'm not going to do it, then you break up with her. Most girls, most guys can't do that. And he can. I want to go want communication. Yeah, that's it. Plan so that's it. what I'm saying. I'm saying it's actually but, very secure when you have boundaries and standards. Yeah, but we can communicate. He can like tell me that he doesn't like it. But that doesn't said. mean I'm not gonna like. That doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. Like, oh, okay, you don't like it. That's then perfect. I'm gonna... That's perfect. Yeah. They you can do single. Whatever. What do you want to do? Then you'll be single. But not with me. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk with him and be like, okay, like. But what like what's what the makes point me... if you don't listen? Then it's like yeah. I mean, what I'm saying is that. He's very secure because he's telling you his boundaries and his standards. And if you choose to not adhere, you're single. That's it. Okay, I'm going to be single. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, like, that's yeah. my point. Yeah. yeah but that's cool. So how does that make him insecure if he's willing to let walk away from you? But I don't get the thing with, like, the the pictures. Like, he's going to break up with me because I post picture on Instagram. Right. But, okay. This this incredible. Incredible. Most guys won't walk away. Well, you, you, know, you know what they'll do? They'll play the game. Of, okay, you know what? You're my girl. And so go cheat on you. That's what they'll do. He can go cheat and fuck him. Like, just leave me. But you wouldn't even know. Cheat because I post picture? No, because he's saying to you, hey, here's my boundary. Either respect it or don't. But if yeah, you don't... but you choose. Like she said, mm -hmm. like he saw me on the social media. He liked my picture. He liked the way I was. And he chose no, no. me for that. But then you... And why he's going to change me. But remember, right. back then you were single. No. Remember you said you were single posting because you were single. Now you're with a guy. How do you change it? She said that she didn't post for I attention. Don't do... Yeah, and I don't do things you, like... You believe that? Come on. I mean, that's what she said. I'm going to take her word for it. Yeah. And when you have a man, like, I'm still human. I'm still me. Like, why am I going to change for a man? He's my man. He's just a plus in my life. No, but remember, right? When you're single, do whatever you want. When you're with somebody... I do whatever I want. And that, he, that's why you're single. Oh, cool. that's, that's why, why you're single. That's why you're single, single right there. Single, like, yeah, this is why I'm trying, ladies, single. Do you not understand that if you get with a man, right? There's rules and boundaries that you have to stick to to stay in the relationship. No. There's, ter there's terms. That yeah, you have to just agree stay to. loyal. Like I have communication. A question. Advertising yourself is not loyal. Yeah, it's not loyal. Hold on, hold on. I have a question. You have a boyfriend, right? Yeah. If your man told you, "Look, babe, I don't like this. What you gonna do?" I say X, Y, Z. You can say, "Oh, I do what what I want." No, I mean <laughs> I'll listen to him, and you know. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. 
Tell us. I mean, like, if he tells me to do what? Like, Let's say, for example, right? He says, you know, you know what, you know, what, babe, I don't want you going on a late night with your friends to a random party. Okay, then I won't go. So I'd want him to do the same. I'd want him to listen to me too. But why? Why are you going to obey him or listen, listen to what he's saying? It's a respect thing. Yeah. Exactly. You, you respect him. You have to show respect when you get so, into a relationship. You're not single anymore. 100%. You're not you going to show for yourself for everybody. You have to but that doesn't there. mean you can't no, someone host. Gets it. Like, I'm, that has nothing to do with, oh, mm-hmm. I have no respect for you because I post. No, no, but that's no, his, no, no. his respect boundary, though. Respect for your partner, not respect for yourself. It's, it, that's his boundary, though. We're just saying with you, for example, if you respect your man, you know what? I like doing this, but because I love my man, I care about him. I'm not going to do that shit. It's, it's respect. That's all it is. It on is, both ends. But, yeah, but it depends on what he's asking. See, you're putting your own personal selfish reasons before your man, which means, for example, you don't re- respect him or care no. about him. Like, no, this is not about that. If he loves me, he doesn't want to change me in the way I am. If I like, if I liked posting things on the social media, why would he like want me to change that? Because initially, you were single doing that. Yeah, you're not like, single anymore. Initially, he wanted to fuck you, so he got <laughs> you. So you know, she looks yeah, nice. Nice then, ass. Wait, hold on. Okay, but L- um, listen, friends, whatever. <laughs> Hey, look nice. I want to fuck her. And then he got to know you more. You know, she's a pretty cool girl. Now I want to put, you know, cap her or make her my own. So mm-hmm. now he's going to have certain standards for you. But mm-hmm. initially, he just wants to fuck you. But then he got to know you more. And that's when he started to have rules for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. first, he wanted to test drive you a little bit. Vroom, vroom. And then he like, you know, now he wants to buy you. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> the and fuck, then... Chris? I tried, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I but... I don't think she understands. Yeah, no, but... I understand. It's just that, okay, he's going to have me. I'm going to be his girlfriend, all right? But the other guy, they can look at my photos. But they cannot touch me. So, like, they, they like maybe they will want to fuck me, okay? Mm-hmm. But they cannot do it. So, like, okay, just I want a man that says, look at my girl. Like, okay, she's pretty. You want to fuck her? But I have her. Like... That's this is why confidence. so many girls can't maintain a guy long term a lot of the times. What you no. ladies don't understand is that when you put sexy pictures of yourself all over the internet, that is the same as me as a man going and talking to a bunch of girls and having sex with them. It's not the yes, same. Yes, it is. Because, it's hold on. Pictures. When's the last, do, you, do you go up to guys and talk to them? I don't go to guys and talk to Thank them. Thank you. Thank That's you. my point. Women don't approach men. Women yeah. put themselves in a position for men to approach them. So what girls do is they put pictures of themselves. They, you're laughing because you know I'm telling you the truth here. No. Girls put pictures of themselves. They dress up a certain way. They make themselves available. Just like I said before, if the car is not for sale, why is there for sale sign on the car? It's very disrespectful to the man. Most men will never tell you this, which is why you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. But most men don't like their girl all over the place. I know. Dressing provocatively on the internet. So if you know, why are you arguing with me about this? This is just how men think. I know that's how they think, but I don't agree with what they think. Well, you know what? I don't like it that women like men that make money. I don't like it that women that's over six feet. I don't like <laughs> it that cool. women want men okay. to pay for dates. But guess what? I can't change reality. I have to either accept the reality and adapt or not get girls. No, or they can be girls that's not interested in just money and just like the things you said. Like, do you live on planet Earth? Yeah, I do. Okay. Did you not just say a second ago that you would have a problem if a guy didn't pay for the date? Broke, broke. <laughs> broke, broke. broke. That nigga broke, broke. You want to hear something? Oh, hold on, stop. You want to hear something? You're not fucking special. Every other girl thinks that way too. They would not date a guy or take him seriously if he can't pay for a first date. So me as That's a man. That's just me as a, a man, gentleman. Me as a man. Yeah, a lot of girls think that way. So me as a man, I'm not going to cry about it and say, girls should change. I'm going to make the money and pay for the first date. Just like you as a girl. Men are going to change. So maybe I should change my behavior if I want to get a man. No, because there's a lot of men who doesn't care if you post shit on the internet. The, the, men, that you want, the, the, the men that you want that are dominant or controlling shit, have, are attractive, that other women want, they have standards and preferences. Most of the time, they would prefer not their girl to do that. They just can't say it. Men yeah, can't I be honest with them, women. Then. I don't what? think it's about like... There's a lot of other men. I think it's more of like if it's the right guy, Mm -hmm. then you will genuinely take into consideration like taking down some posts if you're in a bikini and he Mm -hmm. doesn't like that. That is true. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's if you're dating to marry, not dating just to date and have fun. Yeah. But why would you date just to date? For more dick. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yachts. I I mean, like it's it's crazy how it's like they think men should change for them, but we have to change for women. Like, like, you guys don't think you should have to change 
for but we have to change for women like do you not understand that to be attractive you but have to change it's it's vice versa though. It's, like, it's well, that's, that's what i'm saying it's, a, it's always going to be because the way we're thinking you know what i'm saying you're going to be like dang like it's what you're saying so we like dang like nah like i'm literally seeing a whole bunch of thousand things in my head but you're saying the same thing but you know you get what i'm saying like no but but, okay. But, 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 he, get, but he gets what I'm saying. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? Like, like you know yes, what he does. He literally. I'm gonna try to paraphrase this in best as possible. Because you started. Yeah. Go ahead. You're saying that as a guy, you, I'm gonna. I have to figure out what you want, and vice versa. But right. I'm saying, ultimately, if I'm a guy, right, and I'm talking to you for the first time, I'm already coming to you with things already available that, that you want. Right. So, for example, is do you know what I want? That's the question. Exactly. That's but, exactly exactly what I'm. But saying. the answer is no. Most not, that wasn't a question though, right? It, it, it was, was not it was a question. Rhetorical. Exactly. Most women don't know what. So men want. that's exactly. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm basically trying to say because he was explaining that to you. Okay. You didn't wait. <laughs> okay. Let's. Uh... <laughs> was you not explaining that to him? What I was just saying. Yes. Okay. I was breaking it down. That's what but I'm just saying. I, what's the argument here? Is it an argument? It's no argument. You're supposed to be explaining what I just said to him because he was confused. You said you were going to try and like paraphrase what Thank she you. was saying and y'all tell it lost. to him. So that's why <laughs> she's confused. And I, I just did. Yeah. Okay. So y'all lost. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, your sentence still doesn't make sense to me. I don't know and what you were trying to say there. To what about um, you say <laughs> guys don't respect females that post a certain way. What about when they're in, a relationship and they're still liking other females photos of that nature while in a relationship. I want to fuck those girls. But that makes it okay. What what do you mean that makes it okay? It's okay if their girlfriend is doing it, oh, she's going to be single, but while in a relationship and they're liking other single girls doing it, that's okay. Do you have guys in a friend zone? Yeah. Okay. Those guys you just have in the friend zone, right? Mhm. And then there's guys that you like and guys that you just, eh, he's in the friend zone. Maybe he gives me some free attention, maybe a date here or there, but I'm never going to take him seriously. That's not how to do my guy friends. Okay, but they're in the friend zone, right? Yeah. Are you aware that men also have a friend zone? It's called a sex-only zone? Sex-only zone in a friend zone? No, a sex-only zone and then a wife zone. Okay. So when a girl puts herself in a certain position or she looks a certain way and or behaves a certain way, mm-hmm. she gets put in the sex-only zone. Never will be taken seriously. But my point in being is you're in a relationship and you're saying respect factor. The girl can't post a certain way. But Yeah, because the, the girl guys... that he's with is in the wife zone. Mm-hmm, but... Those girls that he's liking are in the sex zone. But that makes it okay for him to do that. But the girl can't express herself the way she wants to. Not even necessarily provocative, but just show herself off. Women cheat when they make themselves available. Okay. That's, that's how women cheat. Because the thing is, is that for a woman to get sex is way easier than for a guy. So, so therefore, by logic, if it's easier for you to get sex, it's also easier for you to cheat. So basically, it's okay for a guy to validate other women in a relationship. I mean, I don't advocate for that, but it doesn't have the same level of treachery as a girl putting herself out there. Okay, but I'm just asking. Cause... Because because for a man to get sex, he has to put in way more work than a girl. A girl just has to be available. I'm just talking about validating other women I mean, as a matter of fact, this whole conversation has proven to me that a lot of you guys don't even know what men want. But you guys are able to be that way because men approach you. You don't have to understand men for them to be attracted to you. Okay. They could look at your Instagram and just you be like, yo. You missed my whole question, though. Like... I answered it. No, he answered it. Yeah, he answered it. All right. Just not how you like See, it. here's the difference. I'm listening to you very closely so that I can understand what you're saying so I can actually rebut your arguments. You're listening to respond. Okay. This is the best panel ever. <laughs> Shout out to you guys for being charismatic. Bro, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> like, did you have something that you were trying to say from before? Me? Yeah, you were saying something that you disagree with, the insecurity thing or something? Um, I don't know. That was so long ago. If you could remind me. Something that you said? It was an earlier point, but... uh, yeah, I was... think you were saying... So you were saying something, and it was between you two. Yeah, but you, you wanted to talk, but that was a while ago, you are saying? And I don't... The argument I was trying to make for her when she made that nonsensical comment before... Is that the reason that she's able to behave the way and say the things she does, she does is because men approach you, right? You don't approach men. Same with her. Men approach her. I'm sure men approach you. But y'all don't underst- have to understand a man for him to be attracted to you, correct? He just is. He just comes up to you. Men are going to approach you regardless because, oh, she's pretty. They're going to come up to you. But for a guy to get a girl, we have to understand you guys. Mm-hmm. 
So men must understand women to get laid. Women don't have to understand men to get laid. That's the difference. Or even get in a relationship. That's why when I tell you guys, yo, post a picture of yourself, right? In provocative poses when you have a man is disrespectful. You guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. No, I agree with that. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> when you first said it, I said I said nothing about provocative pictures. I said just selfies are like, you look good. And it got to have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this has got to go down the list as one of the dumbest panels we've ever had. I just got to fucking say it, bro. Holy damn. Name. God damn, man. This is wild. Oh, Fuck. Man. This is crazy. This is my, I'm losing hair follicles right now. This is wild. Okay. Oh. Yo, only women get the privilege of being stupid, bro. Because, uh, God damn. <sighs> Holy. Y'all lucky y'all cute, man. Masagi. All right, let's continue on. All right, phone <laughs> lines. Uh, gosh, I need, to, I need to switch it up. I need to take a piss after that one. Uh, okay. God damn. You got right, phone, phone lines, lines man. Uh, 913. <laughs> take a break. I'll go on mute. All right. Uh, caller. Hello? We can hear you guys. 913. Yeah, this is 913. Yep. Uh -huh. Hey, how's it going? Uh, That's a question. Hello? Oh, I'm not going to put my full phone number out there. Yeah, yep. All right. So, but, all right. Uh, 203. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, caller? We can hear you. What's up, caller? <laughs> 203. 0258. Go once, going twice. Can you hear me? Yep, we can oh, hear you, bro. Sorry, too late. Uh, four six five six. Damn, Chris. Damn. Hey, we we have a, a lot of callers, man, and it tells you, unmute it. Caller, what's that caller? Four hey, six five me? six. Yeah, we can. Yep, we can hear you, bro. Okay. Look, I ain't watched this show in like a year. Congrats on the progress. I got a question for Myron. How uh, does he do this every day? Well, he just he went to the bathroom, but um. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll uh, ask him for me. I gotta know. This is crazy. All right, cool, cool. I we will. got you. Uh, let's go with eight five six five. What's that caller? Mm, let's see, what what do you um a question for the ladies? Yeah. What do you think is the root root? What is the root cause of problems in society? Is it men or women or why? And why? Okay. That's a good one. So ladies on the panel, what is the root cause of, I would say, issues in, and, um, wait, what's the question? Uh, the root cause of society in terms of, like, dating, dating. or? Does he mean dating? Yeah, I mean, okay. it's a dating. For dating. Yeah. Men or women, who's I causing the problem? I think it's say. either one with lack of communication. Hold on. Mm. We'll, we'll start here. Men or women, what's the uh, root cause of, I guess, dating issues, you would say? Well... Like dating issues, as in like cheating, or just like breakups, not or making like, it work. I guess between not two making people. it work. Yeah, I think most of the time it's women. Why'd you say women? Because I feel like a lot of the time when a woman's in a stable relationship with a man, or in a relationship, and she's like, I don't know. Can I think about it for a second? Sure. Okay. I mean, it's, it's kind of broad, though. He said, it was kind of broad. I didn't hear it quite. What was it? The question was basically, who is more, in, I guess, in charge of, for example, of relationships for men and women? Who is the one that's given, I guess, the most issues? In society. In society? It's kind of a broad what? question. <laughs> it's, it's just very broad. Okay, so who's who's responsible for the issues within relationships between men and women? Okay, that is a question, ladies. So we'll keep it nice and simple and succinct. What, who... Who is more responsible for the issues between uh, men and women in relationships today? Men or women? What do you think? I feel like it's both. Like, I feel like women... You have to pick one person. Or, or one gender. But that wasn't the question. He just said women or men, right? Am I correct? Yeah. I'm just I'm just verifying, you know? It's, it's an or, yeah. Yeah, so, pick, so I mean... On, same okay, one. so I mean... <laughs> if you had to choose one. I don't know pass can i do that yeah okay <laughs> okay uh, damn dog this th this is crazy <laughs> this is what <laughs> first show ever like this before <sighs> just answer the question pick one if you had to pick one of the pass. Just pick one 
What do you mean pass? Pass. I I mean, he didn't say that. He didn't. When the guy was on the phone, when you was in the bathroom, he didn't say either. or. He didn't say um, um, a woman or a man. He said he said both. Am I right? Am I correct? No, 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 no. I'm very sorry. No, no, no. no, no, no. He said either or. Either or. So who's or women or a man? Okay. Okay. So I I mean, I don't. I have no opinion on it because I, I, my opinion, I feel like it's both. That's my opinion. I I feel like it's a 50 50 situation. If you had to really choose. You know, you know what? Go ahead and explain what each gender because does in the society that we in, I feel like we're both like I I, I feel like women. We, we, it's about opinion. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like it's not it's not communication is not there on both ends. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you know um as far as I'm like you know I may have an opinion just like you got an opinion, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna keep that to myself just like you're gonna keep it to yourself. And to me, okay, if I gotta keep that to myself and you gotta keep it, that's, that's, we're not bringing nothing to the table. Okay. You know what, what I'm saying? Mean? So it's communication at the end of the day. Wouldn't, so it's both ends at the end of the day. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I said both. Okay. Wouldn't it be fair to say though that men can't really communicate with women because women can't okay, handle so the truth? Okay, so what if, what if we cannot communicate because we know our man cannot handle the truth? It goes, it's vice versa. It's mm. going to always be vice versa to me because that's why I said it's 50-50 at the okay. end of the day. Which gender do you think is more outspoken about their preferences? A woman. Is she absolutely so sitting at my a... preference, but I'm not a man. I don't have a dick. So, I mean. Okay, so. So wouldn't it be fair to say that it's tough for men to communicate because women are more outspoken about what they want and I men mean, can be honest? I, I I can't say that because I actually have some in my mother. My mother, she's one. She cannot, she's one of the ones. She would take something to her grave. So I cannot say that. I can speak for myself, but I don't know. I can't speak for every woman. I don't know. Well, about what 10 minutes ago, I described how men dislike it when women have pictures of themselves on the internet and all of you can't. We're gonna go back to that. It has nothing to do with that. We're talking about right now. Do you He's, not realize I'm using that as an example for why men can't be honest That's your example, but you just asked me a question. Like, your argument was just that we don't communicate. And I was saying that men don't communicate because of what we're experiencing right now. Yeah, you're I told up. you what it was, and y'all all had an issue with me saying that men have an issue when girls... But that was your opinion. You just, like you just say and say, we're all dumb as fuck. That's your opinion. You know, I could say you dumb as fuck too for actually opinion, because everything you were saying was not actual fact. Everything we were saying was not actual fact. I can agree with her, but I also could agree with her. You go know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's not actual fact. So I, don't I mean, know. what part wasn't actual fact? I mean, what? Why are we getting off a topic? I don't know where you're I mean, I'm because, so confused at this point. Okay, so can we go to the next here's, person? Here's you asked me a question, I answered it. Can we go to the next person, please? Here's the difference between me and you. Pass. I listen was you can you can doubt me all you want to, but at the end of the day, I really don't care. You can doubt me all you want to. So I mean, so you're confused. I'm not confused because y'all y'all traveling on with the conversation. You just said you're confused. Now I am because we're traveling on with the conversation, as I just said it. Take a deep breath. I'm good. No, you're not. I'm good. Because you cut them off. No, you're not. All right, take a deep breath. All right. Yeah, Stop triggered. cutting people off. You're triggered. Okay. I'm not triggered. Yes, y'all, you are. Y'all, y'all traveling you're, on. Like you're the, hyperventilating. Relax. I'm good. I'm good. Trust me. I'm good. Can, why are we sticking to and me? So, like, keep let's go moving. back a little bit here, right? So you said that there is a communication between the two genders, and that's a problem. I agree. But what I'm saying is that men in general can't communicate with women because when they do, we have uncomfortable conversations like this where women get angry that about things that are valid with men. Hey, I don't like my girl being out there in the streets, promoting herself out there to men when she's in a relationship. This is something that a lot of men feel and experience, but they can't be honest with women because they deal with the ramifications that we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Girls get triggered. <laughs> yeah, loud. Man, I don't care about your opinion. It's blah, a blah, blah. Nigga. It's to and, do it. and the thing yeah. is, is that <laughs> men, sit here and talk to it. men Y'all feel this way. On and on and on. Men and at feel the this end way. Day, it's, it's I let you thing. speak, right? See, here's the difference. I listen to what you say and I understand it so I can give a well thought out response and rebuttal. You, on the other hand, just speak to speak and you just get mad. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do it's with that. It's a podcast. Y'all continue going on. It's I, a like podcast. I said, at the end of the day, it's, it's about, a podcast. It's at the end of the day, it's, it's a opinion. podcast. Okay, you ask so, questions, you, you give a reply. That's yeah. how it works. Okay. I, if if you on. paid attention, I'm actually agreeing with you. But what I'm saying is that men can't be as open with their communication as women can. Okay. And you just said that a second ago. I said, who's more outspoken about their preferences? You said women. So that clearly means that women are able to speak about their preferences without fear of being called insecure or misogynistic or toxic. Men can't be honest about their what they want with women, which is why you guys are responding very negatively to the things I'm telling you, because for once, it seems a guy's telling you what it really is. But y'all don't even hear this because, hey, you, you get triggered when men tell the truth. Like, can you imagine behind closed doors one on one? Like how I thought she would be. I'm like, God damn, I think I would not say shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know, but and then you know, just walk off. 
And before you know it, you're on Instagram, but why niggas ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. I don't no, know, but don't listen. Do that. That's you, mostly you men don't do, do that? that too. Yeah, yeah, I can say you the single? same thing. I can say the same thing. A lot of y'all men do the same thing. I done seen it. So, I mean, I do don't. Do what? Do what the same thing? Same thing that women do. Y'all do Such a as? lot of things as women as? do. Like, like everything y'all what? saying, as far as I'm like, Which oh, is? well, women, like women, oh, women isn't y'all playing the sad song in the just, background just and stuff like that. Y'all, I just said it. Like, what? y'all post memes too. You know what I'm saying? Memes? Like, yeah, memes. that's what it's called. Memes, whatever. It's like, y'all post, y'all post the same. <laughs> things too so it's like you know and y'all y'all got the sad song and y'all bitches ain't shit and y'all y'all for the streets and all of that and y'all say all right I'm still trying to figure out how is that the same as women though oh but you just said that that's what I'm saying like I don't leave this that's don't leave this on me like she watches the podcast and she has she's bought it up she's like I'm gonna tell this nigga Larry something in my mind out here and let all that one time <laughs> you even you, you just been talking to talk, man. Like you just you asking me a question. Like I've been said you, pass. Then I'm no, not so, gonna say pass. So you are you are making points, but we don't know, we don't know what you're saying most <laughs> yeah, of the time. You make no points, man. You but, just uh, talk to talk, bro. I mean, yeah, and shit, so, like I've been so no, wait, 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 and, and prove them wrong. If you're not stupid, answer yeah. the question. Yeah, if, if, if yeah, I mean, I asked it. What's the question again? You said, that's why I said you're stupid. stupid. No, on. because you, oh, bro, no, you're no, saying no, no, any no, type no, of tall no, person no, got to say no, I'm no, stupid, you stupid. Pass, 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 pass. pass, pass. pass. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, we're going to move on. Then pass, bro. but. Yo, bet. totally. Bet. Right. Totally. Okay. Insufferable. So the question was, in a nutshell, who's responsible for, I guess, things not working out between men and women? Who's more responsible, men or women, you would say? I think men. Because I think that there's this thing in society where men really aren't allowed to express their emotions or feelings. So I think that it's just uh, easier for them to bottle up stuff. So they tend to, I guess, be the cause of issues because they have a lot of things that they don't work past. Can you blame them, though? I mean, I think that I personally am an advocate for men being able to openly speak their emotions. So I think that it's an unfortunate thing, but I think it's changing. You didn't seem, seem to open earlier. Yeah, you didn't see. Yeah, I but, mean, uh, okay. Like, look at all. Look at how uncomfortable it is in the room right now. This is why men can't be honest with women. I mean, y'all can't handle the truth in general. Yeah. Maybe some. Maybe most. Some, most. Yeah. That's fine. I can. Some can. Whatever. Can you really though? You disagree with my whole thing with the insecurity. I haven't even spoken about the insecurity thing. You were talking to her. No, no. When we were talking before, and I made my point that it's actually very secure for a man to stand his ground and tell a girl, hey, I don't like this, blah, blah, blah. You were saying, I, do, I disagree with that. I think that's insecure. Before, I, earlier. I didn't. I think that was her. But no, I, was I do. Okay, that's fine. I agree with it anyway. So that's why I came back to you at the end and said, hey, you had something about that, didn't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, so you're Go saying ahead. you think you're asking me if I find it to be insecure for a guy to care about or. Rephrase the question. So you're saying that you think that it's insecure. <laughs> a man is insecure if he cares about women posting Yo. proper pictures. Yes. Yo. That's Sorry, it. you guys lost me. That's it. Um, I mean, personally speaking, I kind of do because I've been in a he happy, healthy relationship for three years. And I, I don't post provocative pictures like that. Like there's definitely boundaries, but I model and I have to post myself on my social media to get business. So... Like I work with brands. I work with like so online can, clothing brands. You so can I have relate to... then. What comes with those but, posts? What? What comes with those posts? DMs, right? Like honestly, comments. I don't. I post my boyfriend my story pretty pretty frequently, and I make sure to make sure he's on my Instagram too. So I don't really get bothered. Okay. Can you admit though, when girls post, she does that on purpose because she knows exactly when they post pictures that are provocative, they do it they on purpose for attention. They don't post their boyfriend at all. I think it depends on the person, the woman. Like, I think that certain people, they literally try to keep it like a balance of where it's still their Instagram. It's not a relationship Instagram. It's, it should be mostly your personal whatever. And then your, I guess, man, friends, family every so often because it's still your page. Wait, wait. Okay. You know what? Uh, Jess, Jess saying uh, check our gram. And, uh, okay, here we go, <laughs> bro. Let's see. Uh, it's different. I, it's bad, let's see. Bro. It's, it's, let's it's bad, see, bro. I'm on. This yours, right? Uh, yo. Okay, so I'm. I'm, try I'm trying to look for your boyfriend. Yeah. Where's your man? <laughs> um, where's your man? I just recently got signed that, with wait, an agency. Wait, I had to be in. Oh wait, no, no. Post these pictures for you, right? No, no. Is that him there? 
Wait, no, no, no. My, my bad. Wait, no, no. It's, it's the beach. <laughs> oh, Never mind. I get it. He's taking the Hold on, he's over, he's over there. Wait, no. Is Wait. that him? Oh, no, that, that's ass. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, he's over there. Yo. 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 Yo, where is he? Yo. I see him. What the? What Yo, the where's fuck? Waldo? Yo. Where's Waldo? What the? Wait, I see No, I thought girls only in the back. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Yeah, you. Yo, man, you get this, bro. Yo, yo, yo. Gee, this really is what. Yo, oh, yo, yo. 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 You had to go back 27 years. Yeah, so that that shit. Niggas the one to roll and it's it's nothing. But, but yeah. it's not like it's not like it's different because but I model. I'm not different. supposed to be posting like really personal anything, just me. Oh, oh shit, bro. Okay. You didn't say that earlier. Yeah, you said earlier. I, did. I literally said I literally said it. I said because I model, like it's literally advised to only post myself, the clothing that I'm working with, and whatever I'm doing. You see, you make it a point to post your boyfriend. Yeah. That's I post my story every single day to make sure that even though my feed, what brands see, the brands I'm working with, they see that. At least on my personal story, everyone that follows me can still see that I have a boyfriend. What do they see first? I just follow what my agent tells me to do. Okay. Yo, you can't make this up, bro. Cope, man. Yo, you can't. <laughs> Cope aesthetic. Listen. Yo. I'll give you this, though. It's a nice page. But, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Nice if thing. you didn't tell me, I would not know you had a boyfriend. Yeah, yeah sorry. I would not know. Oh, yeah, no, no oh, one. Yeah, yeah. And I, think I you, use my I Instagram for work, design. not for personal purposes. Okay. Stop the cap. <laughs> this is okay. You, aren't you? Did you say you're a yoga instructor? Yeah. What about that as yoga instructing? My Instagram is for me modeling, and if you look through my reels, there's a bunch of yoga reels too. Imagine seeing those, bro. I don't want to see those. <laughs> uh, I mean, man. Yo, this is they're it, cute. Girls be capping, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's more line between like uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one we'll we'll move on. See <laughs> what's okay. In your opinion, uh, Miss France, who's more responsible for things not working out between men and women, men or women, and why? <laughs> <laughs> Most dying of pneumonia. Yeah, what's going on out there? Yo, bro, real talk. This is why you can't like split bills with your girl and shit like that, man. Like, yo, just it, yo, keep her ass at home. Be the breadwinner. This is the rules. This is what I accept. This is what I don't accept. But that's it, man. Like, bro, someone said that you look available, and she was like, and she said it earlier, like, oh, I make the rules. I make like, the rules. Like, what the hell? I'm a- like, bro, uh, dower dogs. That's the rules. <laughs> She won DM away from being single again, man. God damn, bro. Like, oh, oh. Fucking drink it, dog. Yo, she's, man. she's gone. Oh, Molly oh. agency. You're modeling. Yeah, I'm a it's, model. It's work. It's work. Like, do you, do you ladies not see how having a profile like that is extremely disrespectful to your man? Like, My man is okay. He supports yeah. me and he encourages me. No, he encourages it because he has to to continue to be in a relationship with you. Like, he can't put his foot down and say, yo, what the fuck is this? No, he's just a secure man. No, he's actually insecure. He doesn't have the balls to tell you no. this isn't That's acceptable. not true. I mean, again, he's just at my standard of men. Yeah, I've been together for three years, right? Mm-hmm. He hasn't proposed yet. No. Think about why. We just moved in together not that long ago. No, no. I want you to seriously think. Why hasn't he proposed to you yet? I know the reason why, and it's personal. Oh, okay. You think you know. How would you fucking know? Oh, she can't Because. Through. Sorry, no, I'll say that word. Because a woman is a spinning image of her man. All I got to do is look at a man's girlfriend. I'll tell you that man. Yeah, that's why man. you're a mirror image of your man. <laughs> yeah. And just from I what I saw, I already, I already know what time it is. What you have something that you want to say? Sorry, you're saying something. No, go ahead. I'm soaking it all in. That's a lot of soak. Chris is seven, yo. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, if you, go ahead, so voice your. If you disagree with something I said or whatever, I mean, it really is true. If I see a girl and I see how she behaves and she has a man, it tells me a lot about that man. No, I was just being funny when you said a uh, man is a uh, woman is a spinning spinning image of a of a man. No, so I was just man. being funny. I just said that I was being funny, and I was just said I don't want to look like my man, but I was just. Oh, so, yeah. That's why I was just being funny. That's why I was just sucking it all in. Go ahead, but go ahead. Okay, too too easy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You got a question? Let me say it again. If I have a question. No, do you have the question? Oh, okay. Earlier? Um. Who's yeah. More, who's more responsible, men or women, for things not working out between men? Like she said, it's or... just like lack of communication. I guess mm-hmm. like they don't express their. We like... just gave you communication. You didn't like it. No, 
because you tell me that you're saying the truth. You're like, yeah. you're not accepting the truth. It's not the truth. It's your opinion. It's not the truth. It's my opinion. It is. What part is my opinion? Uh, the fact that girls like post for attention and uh, like you make yourself available when you have a man and that it's disrespectful to post yourself when you have a man. It's not the truth. It's a lot of people's <laughs> opinions, maybe. But it's All not right. just truth. Like, it's um, not- in general, it's true, though, which makes it a fact. I mean, no. Who said it was true? Ask, For any, me, it's not true. Any guy behind the scenes. Will tell you know you what? Truth. How about this? Stop the show real fi- fast. We got seventeen thousand plus people watching us right now, all over the world. Okay. Guys, give me a one in the chat if you think it's disrespectful for your go- girl to post provocative photos of herself or her body on the internet. Give me a one if you guys think it's disrespectful. I know they will agree. That because, doesn't make yeah, it. And then two if it's not. See, here's the thing. I just communicated to you how men feel in general. I know. But and you go ahead like... and you dismiss it and you say, oh, that's not true. It, it, that's your opinion. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is how men yeah, feel. But, but, you, okay. but you're sitting here. This is why men can't be honest with girls. Your okay. actions right now prove it. No, yeah. okay. See all these ones? These are men from all across the world. This is how oh, guys yeah, feel. I know, I know. They tell me that, guys. but it doesn't make That's it. That's what matters. The They're the ones giving y'all relationships, right? <laughs> yeah. So the man's opinion matters if you want to get a relationship, correct? Okay. Mine too, but it's an opinion. It's not the truth. That's just what I'm saying. If most it's guys... Different, right? If it's I different, took 100 like... men, look, if I took 100 men and I told them, listen, bro, you have an option. Your girl doesn't put pictures of herself all over the internet doesn't dress provocatively, right? Or you can have a girl that puts herself out there and does whatever she wants. You know, 95 of those men are going to say, I prefer my girl not be on the internet. I yep. know, I'm not them. I see them. So but that, so now what are your arguments? Makes me, it's just that I don't want them. Like, if a guy tells me this, I don't want him because he's just, like, insecure. And this is why they will never tell you to your face. That's why I don't tell you to your face. They, they just will. have sex with they you. Will. They will. They will in, no, in a certain they, way no. and I'll tell you anything. So, so question, if... Like eventually, you want a family and a kids, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so if your man, if your future husband told you, "Hey, listen, I don't want this from you," would you listen to him or would you say, "You're right, nigga"? If he's my you? husband, okay, but we're talking about dating. Oh, oh. has to be husband I'm... first. Yeah, then, so then you listen. Then you listen. I mean, when I will have like the age to have like a husband, maybe I'm not gonna like post the same shit as I'm posting what right now. What age is that? What? What age is that? I don't know when I'll find the right one, but I think it's like. Oh, so now late twenties. Since you're young, you don't care. Husband. Late twenties. Do you think you're more attractive right now at twenty or late twenties? It's just not the same. I'm not going. Maybe I don't know. Like I, I no. Don't answer, the... I'm asking you. Do you think you have a better chance of finding your husband now when you're twenty or when you're twenty nine? To find him, okay, but that he's gonna become my husband. Like he's gonna marry me later. I don't want to get married at my age. Okay, but so you think you're gonna be more attractive later on? This is not about like being attractive. It's about what I'm gonna accept from my man. Right now, like I will just like be dating and and if and if like uh I'm dating a guy and he's like I don't want you to be like on the social media because we're together and stuff, like I find it like disrespectful, I'm gonna be like, Okay, like maybe but I don't care. It's just like your opinion is not disrespectful as long as I don't like respond to those men's DMs as long as I don't like cheat on you, it's okay if I just post myself. I mean and if But I'm asking you, Mm -hmm. do you think you're gonna find a better chance of finding a man now Mm -hmm. at twenty years old or when you're twenty nine later? Because you said you want to get married in your late 20s. Yeah, I mean, uh, now, like, a, a guy just to, like, date, but my, like, husband will be later because now, like, at my age, they're just, like, dumb. And, I mean, I don't know. It's just... So why generation. would a man accept you when you're older and you've had more experience? What? Why would a man want you when you're older and you've dated more men? Why would he want me? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know because I'm, like, because he likes my personality. The answer is no, he won't want you. What? The answer is no, he won't want you. He Men will. want younger girls that aren't hoes. Yeah. Who said I'm going to be a hoe? You said that you're date guys you right now. You're you just, just you're and dating guys is and being a hoe? Dating is being a hoe? You're fucking no. right. Well, so you're you're gonna, you're gonna no, be having I'm sex not with fucking dudes. 100 people. I'm just like Could maybe be... dating, but not fucking with them. Dating is, that doesn't mean I fuck with them. It, like, I mean, you're dating. Of course. Okay, you're dating. So I can, dating no. with, with no purpose, what does that mean? Just to like. So having fun, right? No, like I date people. Like if I date a man, is to see if maybe he could be my man if he interests me. Oh my God. I, well, no, it's you real. just said you don't want a guy to your late twenties, so you're dating right now. No, marriage. Like I don't want to get married now. 
Right. But I can have a guy like that. Maybe I like him. And but then... you're going to be the prettiest right now. What? You're the prettiest right now. Yeah. When you get older, yeah. you're not going to be as attractive. And maybe I'm going to find the right man and want to get married but later. He won't want to marry you when he can go get someone that's 10 years younger. Yeah. Okay, that's his problem. <laughs> Not really, because he's he will leave you. <laughs> he can. Yeah, okay, yeah. If yeah, he, he, he want to leave me because he prefer like somebody younger. I guess younger. feminism is seeped into France as well. Yeah. This no, is it, bad. Wow. It just means this is bad. No, if he prefer a younger girl, yeah. he wasn't like interested in me for my personality and who I am, so he can like go with yes, those guys. little girls. I don't care. Are you aware of the fact that if you want to attract a man that is higher status, that is attractive, that you would actually like and respect, that you have to change? Why would I change? And fucking credible. Wow. No. Incredible. He got to like me for L who I am. L There's friends. guys that agree with who L I am incredible. and what I think. It's she's true? stuck in her ways, bro. Yeah, she, yo. No. Being that age, yo. in this environment. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, yeah. bro. I've been in a relationship she's and fucked. it was okay. Like, everything that I'm saying. Where are they now? Where are they now? What? Bro, you don't want to see pull up her Instagram, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as bad as her. <laughs> the guys you've dated in the past, where are they now? They fuck Not her here. and chuck her, bro. No. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Yo, I just bro. didn't want them anymore. No, they, they didn't want you. They didn't want you, They wanted me. They wanted me. I got me. you back. I got you back. <laughs> I fly out. <laughs> <laughs> I fly you out to, uh, let's see, what are these plates right here? <laughs> I fly out to Paris. Uh, uh, I take your photo. But it's like an old picture. Oh, it's only photo. Yo, man. What the fuck? This thing's in the photo. I mean, who got paid for all these trips? Me. Who uh, oh, took you? Wait, who uh, took I'm all these photos? I'm independent. I don't need men to pay for my shit. All right, Queen. Wait, wait. Who no, no, no. Who took the photos? Yet. Who took the photos? Yeah. Not yourself? My friends. My, yeah, I don't friends. know. Depends. Oh, you don't know, eh? Maybe the oh, guy I was dating sometimes. It oh. can happen. Sometimes? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah. sometimes. 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 Wee, wee. Wee, wee. been all over the world, man. Yo. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I can see why she behaves the way that yeah, she does. No. What do you see? Yeah. Paris, Montreal, Italy. Look, man, I'm going to keep it all the way 1,000 with you. When I see a girl's profile like this, you know what I think? Ho. What? I see a... Ho? You're, yeah, oh, you're, do you okay. think you're a high-quality okay. man, too? Me? Yeah. What do you think? I think you act like it. I'm just genuinely curious how you see yourself. yourself. If that's how you perceive me, then that's how you perceive me. There you go. Oh, no, I don't. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not in that guy I don't. I'm saying, like, <laughs> how do you see yourself? That's I mean, irrelevant. Yeah, it's relevant. Okay. That's irrelevant. I see, mean, he answered it without answering it. He's saying, for example, what you see him as is what he is. Yeah. I don't see him as anything. I'm just asking you what, how, because he's asking her, and I was asking what he sees himself as. Mm. Let's say you were wanting to. I'm dating. telling you, I any don't... guy that has half a brain is going to look at that profile and immediately say, this girl's a hoe. Okay. And if he thinks that way, I don't want him at all. Because if you think I'm a hoe just because I post pictures in bikini, that means you're fucking dumb. Why am I a whole just for posting again, shit? Again, he may not tell you to your face how he feels. He'll just act about it. Yeah, and, just just and he's going to be like, you a hoe because you post bikini picture? No, no, no. I'm going to oh, be no, like, bro, okay, you fucking dumb. I don't want you. No, no. I, I just said, he may not tell you this to yeah. your face. He may act out in it in real life. For example, he'll deal with you, fuck mm -hmm. you, but never wife you up. Yeah. I don't care. Okay. And yeah. then I want to have fun too. And then once again. But who loses there? Him. No, no, you. You, you just no. got a body. What? What? You, you, just, you just got a body. Okay. You got a body. Th toss to the curb. So you lower your value for the man that is going to eventually want to marry you. And he's not going to take you seriously after that, too. Yeah. Yeah. The more bodies you get as a girl, the more your value goes down. What? And what wow. about a man? That's crazy. bodies, man. I what get more the value. My, the more girls I fuck, my value goes up. The more guys you what fuck, your value fuck? goes down. Uh, bro, no. <laughs> it's like, nah, bro. No. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm <laughs> What the fuck? Because you fuck a lot of girls, your value goes down? Goes up. Oh, goes up. Go, it goes up. If you fuck a lot of guys, your value goes down. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't. Okay, what's your body count then? Um, I'm not going to say it. Exactly. Oh! There we I mean, I could. I could. I could. Because it's not what, that what, high. What, 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 what is what? it? If, if, if you didn't care and it didn't matter, you would say your body count. But it does matter, which is why you don't want to say it. No, it's point. just because it's private. I don't want to say on the internet because like people are dumb and they're going to be like, I don't know. It's just. But that means it matters. It's yeah. my life. But that it means doesn't it matters. Matter. But that, people are just dumb. That's my point. I that means it matters. It. No, that means it matters. I can say it. I can say it. I don't care. Say it. Okay, 13. Cap. Cap. I swear to God. That's oh, law for 20, you don't know me. Yeah, you don't yeah, know that's law for 20. Okay. That's law for 20, bro. 13 bodies, bro. Okay, maybe. 
What's your body count? 32. And then add, yeah, uh, so four. Plus five. Yeah. No, negative no, two. 13. Don't yeah. you yeah. count with condoms on? Yeah. <laughs> nah, but... Trump's not nice. Because here's the thing. Nice. Your response already tells me how you feel about it. You might say, money go, don't matter. It does. Because it you were reluctant to say it. You probably it's lie about it. It's just the internet. I don't want to say on the internet because... I don't know. It's just people. Because women know deep down that their body count reflects their value when it comes to marriage. It doesn't and t- reflect my social. value. Yes, like if I fucked with 13 guy, it doesn't that change anything. About- that, that, <laughs> that, 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 that reflects your value a lot because now a guy might say, yo, that's too many bodies for me. I'm good. I'm not going to take her seriously. Okay. And how like, okay, what's your body count? Mine? Yeah. My, 13. <laughs> what are you I'm just saying. So. Thirteen. Thirteen. We oui, we. Oui. Just saying. Okay. I, I'm probably close to four hundred now at this point. Allegedly. Four hundred. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't matter for me. I'm oh, allegedly. you got high value because you fucked four hundred girls. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, allegedly. Here's, here's okay. the thing. For and a man, have... stop. For a man to have sex with a lot of girls, he has to put in work. You don't have to put in work. You just get. Not fucked. in Miami. Not in Miami. You're Bro, at- you just go to uh, I see how things are here. Like you just go to the club, they're gonna wanna fuck with you. No, no. You have money, that you have like a YouTube promoters. channel, they're gonna fuck wait, with wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. Influence. But fresh, didn't she say earlier that she don't fuck with guys in the club? That is very true. I don't do that, yeah. No. Yeah, of course. So it's I'm talking to- about Miami girls, like how it is here. Yeah, but you know it's easy for you to get girls. You don't have to put a lot of work. Maybe you got money, you have a YouTube channel. That like takes work. Hold on, what does it take to get money? That takes work. What? What does it take to get money? Because there's some girl who are just interested in money. No, what does money. it take to get money? Work. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but... Yeah, nah, but... No, 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 it's yeah, easy. Yeah, and I don't work. Yeah, and I don't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, got you right now, right? Yeah. You I work for your thing. You didn't work for a woman. Now I'm going to get so You don't have to have money to get a job. I don't need the old <laughs> god. Like women don't have to have money to get fucked. Y'all don't have to do anything to be get fucked. Y'all can be dumb as shit, still so get fucked. Just manifest. Men have to make money, have status. We have to work to get laid. Hygiene, dress well, look good, smell good. And, and me, if I smell bad, I feel like I'm still hot. Yeah, because so you're not done. By the way, That's we it. had on the show two of French those girls. 13 guys at least one time yeah. your vagina stink. I guarantee you still fucked. By the way, right? We had it in the past on the show. Two French girls, and they stank. But guess oh, yeah. what? They still got fucked. Yeah. I won't say who, but hey, it's what it is. Oh, you know who. Yeah, bro. It doesn't matter. Allegedly. Like, for you to even try to compare a man having sex versus a girl having sex, it's not nah, even close. Like, just the the thing you told, like, about value, I don't understand. Like, how can your value goes up if you fucked with 400 girls and my value goes down because I it's fucked with 13? Experience. It's so, very simple. Yeah, is and it, I, I get look, experience too. You look, get experience. No, I, I need you to, to 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 be quiet for two seconds and listen. Is it easy for you to get sex? It is. Okay. It's hard for men to get sex. No. Are you a man? No, but I then just see up. it. You don't know. No, I just <laughs> like, see it. Like, no, what are you talking about? I mean, like, bro, like you, you even said it. Just have money. We, we, no, you it's think just... it's easy to make money? <laughs> but you think it's fuck... easy to make money? So you're gonna tell me that the 400 girls that you fucked, you worked for them, and like you worked to have them? No, you just went out, party, like there was. I don't drink. I don't... He doesn't party. I don't go to the club. Yeah, it's not about you. It's about them. They just <laughs> wanna have fun. <laughs> you just made about them. I mean, them. no, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go to the club. You don't? No, you don't. No, 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 so, no, did you fuck 400 girls? A lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. I'm trying to tell you. You find Allegedly. them at work, you go outside to have like 400 girls. Allegedly. No, it's called Instagram. <laughs> Allegedly. Okay. It's called Instagram. And you worked hard, hard to like have those yeah, the thirst 400. Rap. Yeah, thirst rap. Allegedly. Myron's a man of God. <laughs> nah, it's not the same. It, uh, yo, he's go- he sits inside. I go out. Yeah, he yo. go out. Yeah. This is the perfect example that you can be dumb as a girl and make it through life, bro. What? Holy no. shit. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, fresh. Uh, you're what's dumb for saying fresh? that like girls' value goes down <laughs> just for fucking guys and your value, men, goes up for fucking girls. That's dumb. Please That's explain stupid. to me why in every religion the bride is supposed to be a virgin. Please explain that to me. Why, not- why does a girl walk down an uh, aisle in a white dress? Mm, okay, I'm not religious. We can tell. Yeah, yeah, we can tell. Okay. I'm I trying to explain that since like the I beginning don't... of time, men have wanted pure women. That's how it's always been. Okay, but the society changed. 
But men, that, that doesn't change that men still want pure women, just like you still want a tall man, So right? you got to be a virgin and your guy can have fucked with like 400 girls and it doesn't matter. You just got to be like, okay, he's a man, so he can do whatever he wants. He have, no. Like, yes, yes. No. When it comes to that, a man that has sex with a lot of girls has to bring something to the table. Yeah. A woman that has sex with dudes doesn't. Security, providing for you, safety, make sure like, you're good. I, I, like, if you, you don't even understand this basic concept, like, I don't even know what to tell you. I like, will never fuck a guy if he tells me that he have, like, a body count of 400 girls. He's not going to tell you. Yeah, he won't tell you. He's, he's not going to tell you. You, you know yeah. something about that, right? And that, what? He won't say anything to you, but his experience will tell you a lot. So, for example, the guy you meet, right? He's smooth, he wants to talk to you, very real, very, like, for example, dominant. You think that's by accident? It's from experience. He'll girls. Fly you out. That's good. Okay, but 400? No, but you won't even know. Yeah, you won't even know. He just okay, told you because yeah. we're on a show. But you would never even know. Yeah, he's honest with you. But yet, you will still like Allegedly. him because he's, he's successful and he has experience. For men, okay. that's important. For women, it's, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing to have experience. Because if I know you had a lot of bodies, guess you what? Know, no, you know why you're lying? Because a guy, okay, like, okay. So if you fuck with a girl mm -hmm. and she, like, is a virgin and she fuck, like, she doesn't know how to do it. Like, you're going to be like, oh, this bitch is bad. She didn't, like, know no, no, how to fuck. On. And then you're going to pass her the other girl. I can teach her because, once again, she has no experience, which I love. And, and be real. Are you lying? You're just going to no, cheat on honest, her with a woman who knows most how to fuck. Later. Well, well, first off, we'll, we'll smash a girl like, with a lot of experience, but we won't wipe them up. Two, two different things. I mean, I, I, So, once again, I will smash a girl that has a lot of bodies, but will I wipe her up? Probably not. Because at that point, okay, it's like, and you th you think that you're like worth wifing up if you have like four hundred by like girl on well, your body? They're chasing Allegedly. us, so hmm? I mean that would say a lot. What? They're chasing us because of the experience, <laughs> which says a lot. You know, you said you go in the club, girls want all, all the guys at the tables and stuff like that. Is because they have value that the girls see up front. That's not about that. What is it about then? Like the girl at the club? Yeah. yeah. They have to work for our value to go to the club and get a table, which means they see the value in the guy. They don't see the value. They see like the money and they just want to have fun. That's, That's value. value. That's not value. I have to work for the money and the status to become that guy. You, Some guy you, are just going to take table and they're like not that rich. They didn't work for their money. They just like acting up. That is true. Up. But guess what? They're still at that table. Yeah, they still have a table. Regardless. You just showed up for free. Do you sell tables to women? Sometimes. Sometimes. But most happens. of the time, it's men. It happens. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, okay. It doesn't have anything, like, with, like, value. I don't get it. Like. How many guys go to that table and say, you know what? I want to come to your table. I want to drink. Versus, vice versa, for guys going to having a table, girls like, oh, I want to go to his table. It's, like, it's totally different. I mean, does the rest of the panel understand this concept? Yeah. Or is she just crazy? Girls in the club. I mean, guys in the club who have tables get in because they had to buy a table. No one's like looking at guys in general admission and being like, oh, I want to go talk to them. Yeah, I mean, Even promoters will like pull girls, pull them in your section yep. because you have status. You have some sort of value because you bought a table because you're spending X amount of money in a club. Mm -hmm. Guys are going to walk around the club looking for the girls to bring. Yeah. And yeah. the girls are going to notice who's walking around the club. And they're gonna go. Through. Men have they to bring want to value. Women for don't. For some, for some exactly. women, but me personally, I don't care if you have a table or not. I swear, I don't care, and I'm not lying. I'm just telling the no, truth. No, that's not I the am. point. I'm, I'm just telling woman, you, a man that has sex with a lot of women is not the same as a woman that has sex with a lot of dudes. Like I, I can't. But you're talking about this. value. Like okay, maybe it's not the same. Okay, but not value. My value doesn't go down. Yes, because it does. Like, nah. The more sexual partners you have as for a you, woman, what is value then for you? He just told you. Not marriage material. There are studies on this. Like, I literally just did a podcast on this like, a couple hours ago. Yeah. The more bodies a woman has, the less chances of her being able to be in a good marriage and a relationship that's going to last. It's statistically proven that if a woman has more partners, she can't be in a, in a long-term marriage. Higher chances of divorce. This isn't my opinion. This is fact. And you're way beyond that number, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> the number is about six. Once you hit six, the chances of you being able to be in a long-term relationship drop down significantly. Maybe. Merry Christmas. You're doomed. <laughs> You're fucking doomed. Uh, Holy yeah. fuck. Okay. Oh, it's tough. 
Where are we? Yeah, we're, uh, uh, we can just move on to the next let's one. Let's move on. Yeah, 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 yo, there's almost 20,000 y'all in here, 19,000, man. Yo, like the fucking video for my hair follicles because this is a tough panel, man. Okay. Holy shit. Next phone call? Right, or uh, yeah, uh, chat, Chris. Uh, phone call is fine because it's a phone call show. Uh, let's go with 6704. Caller? Go ahead. This is why uh, many women end up mar- marrying simps. And that fails the fucking relationship. And then that's why there's a lot of divorce rates because they end up leaving them. Fair enough. Good point. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Uh, kill the Twitch and Facebook stream. Come on over to YouTube, guys. Rumble is down right now. I think Rumble having is having an outage. I, I, uh, I know that they were updating their servers recently. So come on over to YouTube, guys. Uh, all right. Next, co- next call. Okay. Let's go with uh, 2416. Go ahead. Yo, shout out to Fresh and Fit, my boy. Appreciate it, man. This what up, bro? This where we live in, man. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> Literally telling her the fact he can't take it. This is fucking incredible, man. Hey, God bro. God damn it, bro. Shout I mean, out to y'all, man. I appreciate it, man. Oh, he's gone. Uh, No, he <laughs> helped the phone. That's not me. Yeah. Uh, 1033. All right. It's man lit. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's up, fellas? What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's your question or comment? Oh, shit. Good, good, good. Oh, man. Hey, I love the show. Been watching for a long time. Hey, I appreciate you guys. This needs to be spread uh, across the world. Every man needs to know their values. Uh, to the ladies, man, hey, uh, don't quit your day job. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Yo. Uh, uh, just one question for ladies. Hey, yeah. since there is one, two, I think there's seven. Yeah. And there's nine of them. Name, name one planet. Planet. Name one planet. You can't say Earth because you're living on it if you don't know. <laughs> Venus. Name one planet. Mars. Saturn. Mars. Jupiter. Mercury. Well, can we go in order? Can there be some kind of... Okay. <laughs> now you switching it up. Now you switching it up. Okay. You ain't say that. You we'll ain't start, say that. We'll start here. You switching it up. Well, I, mean, I'm just about, com- I guess common sense is not okay. common. Hold on. Anyway. I mean, obviously. Clearly. on the phone. The guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... You? Y'all making a fool of yourself. Looking like clowns. <laughs> you are too. Okay, so she said Mars. Okay. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Jupiter. Jupiter. Venus. 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 Mars. No. What's she... Bumbocat! Yeah, what? she already said Mars. Oh, I had to name them. Yeah, no, no, name oh, a different okay. one. One, a different one. Just name one. Just name uh, one. Uranus. That's it. Uranus. Uranus. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you like it. Neptune. Neptune. Saturn. Saturn. Was Jupiter said? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Pluto? Mercury said, is Pluto, Pluto still a planet? planet I was just about to say, yeah. I don't know. If it's, don't know. it's, 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 it's an right. We'll give it to you. Yeah, we'll give it uh, to you. All right. All right. Thanks, man, for calling in. Who's up next? Okay. Uh, let's go with uh, 1231. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, what up? Go what's ahead. up, man? Oh, what's up? Not much. Um, I guess my question is, um, all right, so I know the French girl kept, like, going back and forth with Myron because... She didn't really understand what you were trying to say. Oh no, she so, understands. She just doesn't want to accept wanna... it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that that's. True. She's never very been told true. no in her life, bro. You, 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 it's very obvious. Has the guy ever told you no before? To... Yeah. What did he say? About what? Like when did he tell you no? About what topic? It's like just in general he's just saying in general like he have a have like somebody just said like you know your parents say like no like just in general oh, like, that's like, what he's saying can you go to dubai have no you, have you, have you no ever, like I, it could be anything like yeah. do you, can i can i get this popsicle like no like you popsicle. know what i'm saying like yeah like i'm just speaking <laughs> low yes. like don't listen don't do that anyways right like in general is what he's saying All right. yeah. You want me to give you an example? Is, no, never mind. Just okay, okay. go ahead, caller. Hit it. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so my question is, is yeah. do you think you ladies are going to be able to find a man if you guys keep up with the the habits that you guys have of being like non-agreeable, um, you know, not listening to reason, not like critical thinking, not having like just a moment to pause and be like, okay, this is how society acts and 
I might not like it, but I might as well acclimate to it and try my best to find a man. Okay. Do you and, guys think you know, you're going to still get a guy with that mindset? We can start here. Or are Wait, you changing? Am I changing? Uh, I would say yes. When I'm in a relationship, I would change. And I feel like I'm the type of person who is who would listen to my man and take in understanding where he's coming from. So I would think that I could still be wife so. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'm a person to believe in 50-50. So absolutely, I believe in change. And yeah. Would you really want to be with a guy that's 50-50 with you though? You pay half, he pay I'm half. I'm scared to ask, answer that question with you. I mean, you said it. <laughs> you're the one that said that you're what your preference is. I'm just asking. Do you No, really... I would. I would, though. Because so I, I just feel 50, like. 50 on bills? Yeah, I would. Absolutely. Really? I believe in that. No, my mother taught me that. So, yeah, like, seriously, yeah. I would. I believe in that 100%. Is your mother still with your father? Yes. Together? Are they been still, like. No, they're still them? together. Okay. And they go 50 50 on everything? Everything. Because if something, if he don't have, she has. And that's the same thing with me. I agree 100%. If I don't have, babe, I know you got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's vice versa. If he don't have it, I, I know you're going to, you know, like, I got you. So, you know, that's my, he look at me as his bag. I'm going to say the same thing, you know? So. Interesting. All right. All right. What about you? Are you going to change for your guy? I'm a really agreeable person and we, talk a lot and communicate a lot and i'm happy in a healthy relationship so right. i'm fine <laughs> lovely all right you ain't changing yeah. next no, <laughs> i'm gonna change i'm all about compromise and reciprocation so so you can let him post a picture of himself with no shirt on yeah okay that's so changed right there pictures of yourself I'm scared to answer that question because I can say yeah and you'd be like oh provocative so right. what do you mean by like, picture like, what do you mean by picture so I can answer that yeah. alright Jason now, right, gonna... she has like four photos four photos yeah four okay alright all right. Mm. All right. so miss track and feel <laughs> running from issues what about you <laughs> that's what for us. she's running she's a track star what about you <laughs> I mean you don't want to stay the same your whole life you want to grow with the person so yeah, you have to change. All right. I love my man. He listens. I listen. <laughs> Our communication is great. Um, yeah, you was quiet yeah. the whole time. God who's God. the leadership in the? Who's the leader in the relationship? Mm. Come on now. You don't know. I think he is. <laughs> yeah, honestly. So All right, we'll move on. All right, man. Thanks for uh, calling in. All right. Oh, uh, they, let's go with nine two, go last. six three. <laughs> we both are. We both <laughs> are. It took him like five Bad. seconds. Yo. Very strong. yo, yo. It never works when women are in leadership roles. That's why I say that. What a color. Women can't lead anything. All right. Yep. Well, what's up next? Yo. What? Yo. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, it's fuck right now. Come I on, think. Man. I think that. Uh, <laughs> I think that a man should lead because um, he has a lot of responsibility to deal with. I think I think about um, question for the girls, the brother. Said, about what the French girl said about like, um, I think he was Tay who gave a perfect example when he was on this show. Bruh. All right, nigga, you off. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga zooted. Let's go with, uh, nigga, yo, club name. What the fuck, bro? Uh, let's go with six. Guys, one. have your question ready to go. Nice and succinct, man. If you start rambling and stuttering and shit, we, you know, you pull a fresh, we're going to fucking move on. <laughs> go. All Who's right, up? One second. I think we got a pay caller. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, or we can just go back to the regular chats. That nigga was on her Uranus. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with 6187. <laughs> go ahead, man. Number call to the show is 505-605-9740. Again, it's uh, 505-605-9740. Okay, let's, let's go with 19667. Uh, six, he's, he's a paid caller. All right, go ahead. Hi, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we got we you. Can. Go ahead. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, so I had a quick comment. Big fan. Love you guys. The goddamn these bitches are stupid. But uh, first comment <laughs> is uh, I've been taking a lot of stats because I'm a mathematician. I was like, I wonder how one joins your team. Uh, I definitely sent some emails out because I've been taking stats of all the live streams and uh, doing a case study to support you, Myron, because I know you're a numbers guy as well. So don't know how to do that. But uh, for a question, uh, something I 
you guys always ask, but it's always fun to see these uh, hoes answers, right? Uh, ask the woman, uh, <laughs> do you know what men want in relationships from women? Or do they know what, you know, what, uh, what men want, basically, All right. in a relationship? We can cool. ask that real quick. We that. All right. Awesome. Thanks. What do you think, ladies, men want in a relationship? Start with you. A good girl. Like, good. Listen. Describe good girl. Like listens, uh-huh. cares, loves right. on you, and just being there for you. All right. You know. That's it. Yep. All right. What do you think? Um, a woman that's gonna take care of him, provide, provide for him. What? I don't know, support, emotional support, having someone there to talk to where he can be vulnerable. All right. I don't think men should be vulnerable women, but that's a whole other thing. I keep hearing animal traits. I don't know why. Yeah. Get a pet what about dog. you? Um, a woman that's respectable, carries herself well. She's smart, good head on her shoulders, um, able to keep like the household in check. Um, as far as like cleaning, cooking, catering to their guy. Okay. Things like that. She changed her answers from before. Yeah, so you know all these things now. Interesting. Oh, wink wink. Right. What about you, friends? Do you know? Um, somebody that's gonna know how to keep him. Oh, and... do you know how to keep him? Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Stop the cap. <laughs> how do you how do you keep keep them? How do you keep them? Yeah. I don't know. You gotta make them like I don't know. No, dream and um, show them that you're different. Show them that like. So how are you different? Because I am. It's just like he's gonna see with my personality. Um, deep what talking. about your personality makes you different then? Yeah. That's just the way I am. Oh, like he's gonna find out uh, if he dates me and if he gets to know me. I mean, we're all special. So what makes you are... special? Uh, that's a hard question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. I gotta get up. Go to bathroom? Like, I, li- I gotta go. Oh, so y'all? Yeah. All right, get off. <laughs> oh, you're like leaving the show? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to go. She, uh, she uh, took her she... off the panel. All right. Also, she got Fair enough. Yep, she's gotta go. I think uh, uh, I think we triggered her too much. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Yo, this was one of the craziest panels. Yo. Master degree, but still dumb. Hey, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> that was the most silent castle ever. Oh. Oh, she didn't want to answer that shit. That's why she, she don't fucking know. Yeah, pure comedy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit, I'm next. I'm like, answer it. I don't know how to keep it, man. She didn't want to answer that shit, man. That's why she left. <laughs> she was running too. Yeah. She, oh, hell no. I might just wait. Yo. Yo, she about to run to her. <laughs> you watching a podcast right now, punching air like, man, that's <laughs> bro. Damn, what the hell? She never went up there. Yeah, she never went up there, man. Fuck. Oh man, bro, that that IG man. Yo, that IG's bad. <laughs> that IG's bad. That bro. shit is bad. Bro. She got no man on that. Yo, it's, it's, it's good for her. But yeah, it's good for her. her. L for him though. Uh, Holy, can God we get? Damn. We got some space. Some space now. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what makes you special again, France? You have a, you have a little bit of time now to um, to think about it. So he's just gonna see it, but wait, can you hear? Okay. Yeah, we got you. Uh, he's just gonna see, but like getting to know me. I mean, it's like what makes me special is my experience, the way that I am. Like I'm a good person. I have a good heart. I'm gonna like support him, love him, and all that's that what kind makes of... you special. Yeah, I mean, Other we're all different. Okay, we're all different. It's just like he's gonna see it. He's gonna just feel it. I mean, we're all special. Okay, all girls can. All girls. It's can impossible do that. for everyone to be special because being special means you're different from everyone else. That's the definition. Uh, you're different in your own way. Like you're just. In order for you to be special, you have to stand out. You have to be different than everybody if, else. That's what makes you special. If everyone's special, then no one's special. Yeah, there's no. Sense? Not everyone can be special. Bro, I don't even know how to answer to that. <laughs> I don't even have the book. Which means you're not special. I mean, no, it's not about that. Like, I don't even know how to explain. Like, 
I know you don't. You know what? You are special. I could. I could. Like, let me you, talk you to you in special. French. I could tell you. It's just English is not my first language. Okay, I cannot talk to you. Now it's English is not my first no, language. No, I mean, no. It's just like, we're all like, like, I know I'm special just because I know it. How can I tell you? Like, you don't know me. You don't know me. Like, I just know it because I'm confident and I know myself. Like, I know. Right, so if like, you're confident, then you should be able to tell us exactly why you're special. I'm special because this, this, and this. It's. But nothing you described is actually it's special. It's a feeling, like being special. He's going to think I'm special because so you, he's going to feel you're it. Because he... you feel like you're special? Because I know I am. Because you feel like it. Yeah. You know what? I feel like I'm a billionaire then. Go okay, King. that's a trick. Go, King. Good job. Am I a billionaire, billionaire guys? Yeah, good job. Yeah, I feel bro. like a fucking billionaire. Yeah. Yes, you know what? Oh, I'm special yes, too. Sir! Yeah, I'm special. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, a I'm a billionaire. Yo, 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 I'm a lawnmower. You yes, are. I'm special. I'm a lawnmower. Yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm special. You're special. Woo. You're a lawnmower. I'm a billionaire. I'm anorexic. They, they, yes, sir. Yeah. 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 What are you? Fucking awesome. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking awesome. You you ruined it. Thanks. But, uh, uh, oh. Never mind. See, see see how foolish we just sounded? The more like you believe in something, on, the more you're going to be. Did we not just sound stupid? He, the fat guy said he was anorexic. Stupid. I said I'm a lawnmower. <laughs> I said I'm a lawnmower. I said I'm a billionaire. Like, do you, did, did we not just sound stupid just now? No, you did. We did, right? You did. <laughs> you did. That's how you sound. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> so you think you're not special? Explain me why are you special then? I never said I was We're special. Not special. Okay, so you think you're just like not special, you're just here and then. Just a guy. Yeah, it's a guy. I'm not special. I mean I just know I'm special. If like somebody gets to know me, they will know it. But all right, but what is it about you? Like for example, can you make nice quotes? <laughs> Uh, do you cook well? Yeah. Like, what's I what's that kind what's of your stuff. traits? Like, what's exactly? But everything that I'm gonna say, you're gonna be like, oh, everybody no, can just, do it. Just name so. three. <laughs> oh, what's the name one? Because we want to know if you're special. Mm. Because the girl with the weed head can do it, right? With the. <laughs> I mean, your your, your hair kind of like weed. I won't lie. Yo, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, it is what it is, bro. We're just gonna move on. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Bro. You, you, I, uh, with all due respect, you're delusional. You are. I'm del not delusional. You I just delusional. know my worth, and no, that's listen, it. You can't even describe. Listen. I don't need to prove it. I just know it. When I'm that's, in a club and it. I see you, I'll Bruh. be watching. All right. Yo. Okay. I'm watch watching. me. This is the perfect example of you can be dumb but be pretty and make it through life. No nah, offense, bro. You just don't know me. I'm not dumb. It's just. I mean, I've given you plenty of chances to, to prove that you't not I dumb. Mean, and every single time how you can fail. you explain to somebody how special you are? It's just a, like they're gonna feel it like you just know I think you're she's special saying like you the are. emotional connection between them is special. Yes, it's like special and no, like that's them. not what it is. She says she's special based on characteristics. and we asked her describe those characteristics and she can't describe them. It's like saying I mean, how is Serena Williams special? She's gonna attend it. Serena Williams, right? How special? She don't know who Serena Williams is, nigga. Oh, no, right, never mind. She's from. <laughs> she she just says she's from France, right? I am. Okay. Who's a French singer? Serena Williams is American, though. She's not French. All right, never mind. Forget it. What? <laughs> Forget it. She's a tennis player. Like okay, American I tennis player. That, that's what I. That's what I told him. I was like, yeah, not from I don't know that person. Okay. Aya Nakamura. Yeah, she's special. Special. Aya Nakamura. <laughs> yeah. You know her, right? <laughs> Yeah, she's French. How's she special? I don't I don't know her. I can't tell. You know who, what did she do for a living? Uh I work at a restaurant and I work at a, a club. No, what does she do for a living? Ah, she's a singer. She has a talent. Oh, that's why she's special. And because no. I don't have a talent, I'm not special. No, no. That's what she stands out. How do you stand out? I'm smart. I can. No, wait, that's wait, a lie. No, you smart. No, okay, no, that's your no, opinion. I can tell you that you're dumb too, because we don't Ooh. think the same. I think we've proven that you're dumb, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> During the course of this podcast, we have proven that you're dumb multiple times. No, I don't think I'm dumb. Maybe. Chat, give me one in the chat if y'all think she's dumb. <laughs> y'all niggas yeah, been watching. They're gonna, or, give me one okay, in the chat if you guys think she's dumb. Or two if she's smart. If you or two if she's smart. She's smart. Give us a two in the chat if you guys think she's smart. Give us a one if y'all think she's dumb. Yeah, Let's on. see what happens. Three tickets with two. Okay. Okay. Shout out to you. 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 Sh
this nigga yo. dig his <laughs> dig his <laughs> niche mic. Yo, <laughs> man. Yo, this shit crazy. Oh, bro. Okay. Let's continue moving on. Okay. The nigga said negative one. Funny. Uh, I want to see them like talking like a. No, they want to talk so, to you in person. So the question <sighs> was, um, oh, how do you, <laughs> how do you stand out? <laughs> What's the question again? We'll move on to the next one, bro. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This, that's, uh, this is fucking right, comedy. So let's speed it up. This is a comedy special at this point. Yeah, some chats here. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Um, we, got, we got girls getting triggered because they didn't get proposed to for three years. And shit. <laughs> the fucking. Uh, we we okay. Camp two times, ladies. Name at least one thing a guy can do that would instantly make him more attractive or instantly arouses you to want to sleep with him. Mm. <laughs> you want to? Nah, we can move on. All right. I think. Uh, all right, ladies on the panel. How many of you are dropping that neck to cover your bills? <laughs> <laughs> Look at blow job. Oh, give it a beat. Oh, okay. Any, uh, anybody gonna give a blowjob to get the bills paid? Anybody? What? What did you say? Is anyone gonna give a blowjob to get their bills paid? Fuck. Okay, never mind. No. Wait, who's on OnlyFans here? No one. I think I stayed. I was the only one. Oh, you're you're on OnlyFans? Yeah. No, I deleted mine. Oh, you had one too. I had one, but so I wouldn't it be ar- it. arguable that you are blowing to make money for your bills on OnlyFans? I well, mean, no. if that's your only source of income, yeah. So, so you are. I mean, yeah. I mean, partially. Don't y'all have side incomes? Not blowjob, so. <laughs> I, I would hope not. Damn it. Ew. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would hope so not. Techni- so I guess technically for you, yes, that's answer. That's a yes for you. Techni- partially. Technically, partially. 50-50. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. Maybe 80-20. Uh, Doc Hancock. <laughs> hey, my dog Myron went in today on the day show. Straight facts. Man, I love seeing Myron without the 304s because it's that straight RP. <laughs> Sometimes you have panels and you can't you can't go into deeper subjects, my friends. We got to stay surface level on this one. Uh, fresh balls, first tacos, then back to the crib. Four plan bedroom fun as fresh gives you Bayesian booty blitzer. Okay, uh, beautiful story next to us. It's going to be a long night. Fresh knows your cheeks will feel good. Take it away, my brother. What? Not bro. What She's was a leader the in her relationship, bro. Oh no, that's not a question. Yeah, bro, it's uh, a statement. Chill out, man. Yeah, okay. Damn. Oh, me? My bad. <laughs> uh, was it was it her or? No, I think it's it's not important. Yeah. All right, never mind. Know. Hey, my fresh and my fresh. Thanks for all you do in helping men improve. You guys give us so much in return. I wanted to give something back. I thought of ways to improve your merch and came up with designs that I know you'll love if you're interested. Yeah, send it to um the podcast Instagram, Fresh Fit Podcast. Okay, cool. cool. Uh, IRS, IRS. Shout out to FNF team. Y'all been crushing it lately. If you add up all the ladies' IQ level, it would equal a normal day in Florida. Yeah, I mean that's true. Which is 75 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ryan Thomas, fresh and fit are the wave. The first girl is not 18 unless Miami ages you five years. You try to say that you ain't 18. You have anything you want to say back to him? Not really, no. Okay. He said you look old. What was that? I'm 18. All right. She 18. Uh, this 18. This panel is going to be cap to list. Uh, keep pushing the real over the field. French girl is some sweet French vanilla. Ask the panel if they know about the wall. The China wall? Yeah. There's your answer. There you go. There, okay. There's your fucking answer, guys. Well, there we the go. Yeah. Of they don't know none the of these vernaculars that you guys are talking about, bro. Who's the bigger fool? The fool or the fool that follows the fool? Down the Monko. See what you did there. Interesting riddle. Chicks say loyalty that should be given. Security, your money is your money, our, and my money is our money. You also ain't going to fight for me. You're a liability. No one said my legacy. Being feminine, fit, friendly, shutting up, not embarrassing me, private IG. What? He's, this is from earlier. <laughs> this is from earlier. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yo, you guys got to understand, man. This is a tough panel. Y'all got to keep it like, you guys got to spoon feed it, man. All right. She sounds like a drug addicted, be- drug addict being told that drugs are bad for you. Who are you talking about? I think the French girl? I don't know. All right, let's move on. Jay Martin, Martin, you ladies are uh, emblematic of the delusion of women in the U.S. Spend less time with your IG filters and attention seeking. The space between your ears is not just to keep your earrings from bumping together. There's actually a brain in there. Use it. (laughs) (laughs) Anybody have a response to that? Thanks for the advice. All right. All right. Gather your stone, gentlemen. We have to save humanity. No, man. (laughs) 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 There is no saving, bro. Fresh's dog. 
Waldo was easier to find than that model's man in her IG profile. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, for real. She had three or four, run while you can. Yeah, bro. Oh, she I, ran. Yo. Oh, she ran fast. <laughs> yo, man. That dude, if he's watching the show. Oh, he posted air right now, bro. Bro, you need to put some fucking boundaries on your girl. The fact that she said, uh, she makes the rules. And she makes the rules. Yeah, like instantly. <sighs> she said that like that, bro. Like that. Her comments just showed how much respect she has for a man. She don't respect her guy at all. So, and she knows it too. Yeah. Uh, th- that placeholder boyfriend. Yeah. Probably. Definitely a placeholder boyfriend. Yeah. Or worse, just a uh, fun time. Yeah. Because he pays the bills. Yeah, because he pays the bills. So yeah. she's trying to get her modeling agency up, whatever. And then until she, she gets might her, dip. who knows? You know, yeah, so she might. <laughs> Or she out of real. Yo, Niji. What kind of guy do you think you're going to meet knowing that OF has a bad reputation? Uh, that's for, well, I, Obviously for... me. Okay, go ahead. I mean, but who said I was going to stay on OF? So you you're gonna quit? Yeah. When? I mean, I I feel like I mean that's just any goal though. The the goal is to to you know to to elevate. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm trying to. I want to. I'm. I want to do what I gotta do to get what I gotta get to. I think that's a, a great idea. I'm just curious though. What if the what if their old videos online? Then then they never. I mean, we in. all got a bad past. You know? yeah, but but why keep doing that? Might that? be some. What was the question? What wait what 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 did you say? No, I'm just saying like having those old videos would not like maybe come out to haunt you. You you think? I mean, of course, but I mean at the same time, just like how y'all stated that, you know, we may not know how much a man has as far as embodies. Eventually, the the darkness it'll come to the light, you know. Yeah, but why keep doing it if it's bad? Then I think having an OF is putting a wall between you wanting a relationship that's real with someone. Because I had one for a brief second, and the guy I was talking to and wanted to take seriously didn't like that, so I took it down and I took everything down. And I realized that it was kind of eye opening to see it from his side. And it's like, yeah. It may be for money. It may pay your bills, but no one will respect you. Mm. Or and the guy I was seeing specifically was not going to respect me if I had it up. And I agree because I actually was, I was in a relationship. So I actually slowed down last year. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. So, I mean, I agree. I agree with both of you guys, you know, but as far as I'm like, as far as on what I'm doing right now, what he just asked, you know, um, me continuing to do it, like, and I'm single, you know, so yeah, I I'm going to do what I got to do and then I'm stopping, you know. I mean, stopping. so you don't think your past matters? Absolutely, it does. But, you know, that's to me, I just feel like it's a sacrifice in my own little way, you know. So I just I, I'm going to deal with it when I when I deal with it, you know. I would um, say it's a sacrifice in a big way. In your opinion. So, I mean, I mean, your opinion. We, man. You, you just said 400 bodies. So, I mean, mm-mm. my past doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, my past does matter, though, right? Yes. Oh, OK. Uh, uh, here's the difference. Women look for a man's future. Men look at a woman's past. Okay. Mm-hmm. And your small mind, that's small minded to me. So, okay. That's, how's that small minded? That is very small minded. Explain how small minded. I mean, I'm not going to explain. I don't have to. Yeah, you do. If you're going to make a statement, you need to be able to back up your statement. I don't, I don't want how, to. How, how, how is it small minded? Because, I mean, if I'm sitting here, you're just sitting here saying that you have 400 bodies, right? Yep. And then I'm just, I'm on in the internet. Are men and women the same? I mean, obviously not. You have okay. a dick, I have a pussy. Okay, fantastic. So wouldn't it be fair to say that as a man, you have to, it's sex is hard to come by. So therefore, if you're able to get it, you've been able to provide some kind of value versus women. It's easy to get sex, so it's not respected. Mm. We're not the same. Yeah, obviously we know. Since the beginning of time, men have always wanted girls that have lower body counts and they're pure. But women still... have always wanted men to have status. I, I get it, but that's still small minded to me. I get what you're saying. Absolutely, I agree with you. But I'm just saying, I'm that's my opinion. I'm just. Do you want a man that has more money than you? I mean, preferably. No, I'm not. I, it goes back to if 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 he's making fifty, I make. If I'm bringing in fifty, he's bringing in. All right, 50. you want him to make at least as much money as you, right? No, if I'm. I, Did you do not just say fifty and fifty? Which 50, means fifty. If equal? he's listen, if he's if he's making forty seven percent, and I'm able to help him build, vice versa, then so be it. I'm with that. Okay. You want a guy that's taller than you? <laughs> you want my honest opinion? Yeah. I had dated a guy that was shorter than me. Okay. Well, that didn't work Where, out. Where's so clearly, you, <laughs> you want a man that's taller than you? But we're not talking about what I'm with now. You're Please asking me the, the question. You're, the, I'm, no, I'm asking you a question with the question. So, How do you answer a question with a question? 
Why are you questioning everything I'm saying? <laughs> because you sound stupid. <laughs> you sound stupid. No, but okay. you're, because you don't under. You're saying that it's small minded for a guy to want a girl that hasn't doesn't have a high body count. And I'm trying to explain to you that it's not so much. No, that's men in that general. That is your opinion. It no, it's no one no, it's just an opinion. If I lined up 100 men. Okay. 95 you, of them. You, you're going based off by of what you're reading. It's still an opinion. That's still that's, that's still an fact. opinion. Men prefer your overwhelmingly fact, most, that your fact that's still an that opinion. Can you stop Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Most men feel that way. Exactly. Okay, it's so, not an actual so that, fact. So that's though. a fact. Okay. Can we pass on? No, because I'm trying to say something and you keep interrupting. Okay. Men overwhelmingly prefer a girl that is not promiscuous and doesn't come with a past. Okay. That's a fact. That's not my opinion or what I think. It's men, if given the chance, would prefer a girl that isn't promiscuous. Okay. Or has a past. Okay. So that's not small-minded. Okay. Yo, get the fuck off the show, bro. You ain't no contributing problem. nothing. Just get out of here. No problem. Just get out of here. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. Good. Just shit. get the fuck out. Like, real shit. Like, You're yeah, mad because okay. you want somebody to sit here and take I'm off calm. for you. Nah, like, you I'm just want calm. somebody to sit here and shut and you're still up. Talking. I'm not doing that. I don't it know why you're still shit. talking. Just, just, that. just leave. Like, just leave. leave. Just leave. leave. Clown world. Clown world. <laughs> damn, you're bigger than I thought. God damn. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking sumo wrestler. <laughs> This nigga, man. Yo, she way more than me, bro. Guarantee. <laughs> Holy. What is that? That's uh, two right there? Well, she's manifesting it, too. She's an anorexic, anorexic as well. Bro. Yo, get her out quick, man. Make this shit smooth and seamless. Incredible. What? Yo, somebody asks who is more and more her. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, Mo, I mean, I, I, think, I, I think she weighs more. Welcome to Fresh and Fit, bro. Dom the Mongo. God damn. It, like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, it's just ridiculous at this point. <sighs> Annoying as hell. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, it's funny, right? Uh, Mo showed me a picture of her last year. Really? She, she bro, she gained like at least two people. <laughs> uh, like two people. What the fuck? Nigga said she gained two, uh, she gained people. two people, man. Bruh. Yeah. And, and you know what the crazy part is? Mm. She acts and behaves that way, and, and uh, she's fat as fuck. Why are you crazy. trying to body shame like that? Like, what the fuck? I mean, what? here's the thing women money shame all the time, right? No, just don't do that. That's that's bad. Like, that's so little from you. Didn't you just say before, broke, broke? That's money bad. Shame nah, I just don't talk about like that's bad like, though. That's body I, shaming. I like, felt hurt she by was that. giving her opinion. What are you trying to talk about her body? Like, what does it matter? Because she in controls this? everything that goes in her mouth. So if she's fat, it's her fault. Bro, okay. Is that not the truth? Okay. Wait, I mean, we, we all call Mo this. fat. No, I mean, yeah, we call Mo fat. Why did you say anything there? Because he was making fun of it. She didn't ask for anything. Why won't you to like? Why would you talk about her body like that? Because it's the truth. I mean, She's overweight. She weighs more than I do. I'm a grown man, six foot three, two hundred pounds. She weighs more than I do. And she's beautiful like that. I mean, you think so? Yeah. Are you living in planet Earth? Bro, it's not cool to be fat. Like she's good in her body as long as she's like feeling good with herself. Nobody has to say anything about her body. Are you gonna she date her? No. Why not? You're not. <laughs> Why You're not, not? going to date her. See, it's funny how you said broke, broke. We didn't say anything. That's money shaming, right? Ah, uh, stop. It's not the same. It it's is the same because uh, because for men, men look at beauty. And then Women you're telling me money. that I'm stupid. You are stupid. Okay. This argument right now you, is, is stupid. Yes, I'm fucking stupid. If someone is fat, they deserve to be made fun of. I mean, that's... Are you fucking serious? He called, he called his friend fat, too. So it wasn't like... <laughs> nah, that's like, like the targeting the girl. It wasn't yeah. just targeting I, if her. If someone is fat, I tell them that they're fat. I make fun of anyone okay, that's fat. Okay, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Those I mean, people are gonna tell me I'm I mean, crazy. Girl, uh, if she was at Vendome, a girl like her wouldn't be on the benches. She wouldn't get in. That's a good but point. She wouldn't get in. Yeah, okay, you wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah, let her sit at the table. The standard, yeah. Okay. No, I don't <laughs> know. Why can't I stand around the podcast now? I know, but you can have a stand at the table. You wouldn't let a fat bitch at the table. Well, no, we we no, we good. Your clients want to want her at the table. My clients would say no. No, my clients no. Sorry, yes, sorry, sorry. No, I don't choose which girl entered the club. That's not on me. That's just the standard. I don't, I don't. You don't, you don't. Me, pardon, pardon. We we. 
so funny. Good thing you're fresh. <laughs> <laughs> because here's the thing. Your club body shames women all day. Okay, that that's on fact. them. That's not on me. Okay, but they you don't but you body shame them. And you work for them. But you work for them. And okay. you don't let fat girls they, into the section. So you're a hypocrite. Oh, so you condone that? So you're a hypocrite. So you condone that? And they don't do that. I mean, they don't do every what? club has like standards but they're not gonna like body shame them in front of fucking everyone they we're do. on fucking internet when they say no we can't come in what is to... the, what's happening there yeah for the everybody that, okay the a girl wanna enter the club they're not gonna tell her in front of everyone oh you're fat you're not entering yeah, okay they they just, they just, they can't come in. that's because Ew. they're being nice yes if okay. a friend and group goes be in nice. and like, one bigger chick can't get in they'll just block it off they won't even say okay. anything <laughs> Like, you know when what I'm, I'm saying? saying yeah, they they just block it off. You they, know. And then they say, go stand to the side. And it's like, if you don't realize that's the problem, then they do that. Not no. them, it's not Yo, no. on you. See, this is what I mean when I say that you're dumb. No. You just got mad at us for saying we're body shaming a girl. Your club that you work at body shames girls every fucking no, night. No, there's Y'all a don't difference. don't let fat bitches in, and I've seen it with my own two yes. eyes. I'm not crazy. You have to do to no. come in here. No. no, this is not appropriate. You... you are body shaming. <laughs> this is what? fucked up. Your club body shames the fuck out of girls. Y'all yeah, don't let fat bitches okay, in. Okay, can I talk? It's go not ahead. the same. All right, go it ahead. is so, the same. <laughs> bro, can I, like, Okay. So my club is just, why are you laughing now? I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 this is fucking crazy. No, you are okay. body shaming. This is not cool. Your club does it every night. They're body shaming bitches right now. Right now. Right now. So trying to make it better, please. So what I was saying is we're in front of like, how many people? Okay. Uh, almost 20K. Okay. In front of 20K people. On the fucking live, you're telling a girl that she's fat as fuck. I mean, that's not right. We, My club, okay, they have standards because we're in the club, and they don't like say in front of everyone, "Oh, you're fat, you're not entering." Everyone they're in just line gonna, sees it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and it's worse. probably that's worse. Even worse. That's even worse. They're ready. They go to the club. They're yeah. excited to go <laughs> in. All worse. their friends get that's in. Like and you then said, they we're just in. trying to make fun Fire of your girl. girl. She didn't ask for anything. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I was just yeah. trying to make fun of her. I don't like that. It's just like, I mean, yo, you're a hypocrite. I'm not a hypocrite. <laughs> yeah, you are. you are. Did I say that I agree with the clubs that they don't like? Let... You work for them, so automatically I you do. Agree. Okay, I just want to make money. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So her being being able to come, come to the club, you making money. What is that? Yeah, it's you're fine. okay with it because you're you money with it. Is, that's cool and everything, but you but know? they don't body shame her in front of 20k person. That's what I'm saying. They body shame her worse. Her friends, oh, and friends the whole line sees it. Oh, they, no, we, they no because in. they don't like make fun of her. Like, no, they oh, just have a weight on the side. Yeah. That's I'm what you were right doing. Now, that's what I'm that's saying. Even worse. It's different. That is no, worse. It is not to be completely ignored because of your image. It is horrible, but it's not the same. It is awful. I'm not saying it's not awful. I'm just saying that. Doing this on live in front of 20k person saying that a girl she's fat as fuck and everything. Because that, she is. That's not the same. But this oh, is how I they make money. This. this is their YouTube channel. It is. Okay, that's right. I was just saying that it's bad. Like, it she is. didn't ask for this. It's See, body shaming. Because you make money doing the same thing we do. And you're over here trying to say, I don't oh, make fun whatever. of like girls that thing. have way. Here's I don't make fun girl, of them. Look, look, look. Here's the difference. That girl was being disrespectful the entire show, yep. being a pain in the ass, not yep. answering questions. She deserved to get called a fat piece of shit. Yeah. However, the girls that come to your club, they didn't do nothing to y'all. They just show up. And y'all be like, no, no, you do no. not get the wee-wee. Yeah. And they'll just fucking get in. And they get embarrassed in front of everybody. And you have the fucking wait. balls to sit there and say, no fat shaming. And, you and, guys make money off wait, fat shaming. Wait, Mar- you don't actually, let no fat bitches in the fucking section. Wait, Mar- Mar- come on, man. Actually, I let her on a podcast. I yeah. thought she was fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fat yeah. Shame. You let her in. I let her in. Come on, man. So I got I get the opportunity. And I'm sure you niggas in the chat will still support OnlyFans. Bro. Yo, man, I, 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 we body shame less than you. I think some people get what I was saying. I hope so, because it was... Nobody um, understood anything you were saying because maybe. You, you don't make sense. Okay, I don't. Then it's cool. Next time you want to speak, yeah, it should, before make, you speak. It should make sense, right? Uh, don't worry. I know what I'm saying. No, you don't know no, what don't you're know. saying. I you don't know, know what, what you're saying. saying. I know what I'm saying. You think in your head, and you, you try to say it, and we don't know what the hell you're saying, man. Because you were right. just body shaming her we like in front of 20K person. You body shame all day. That's I your don't business. 
do I come in front of a girl and say, oh, you're a fat, ugly bitch? No, I don't do that. She no, was being yeah. disrespectful. She deserved that. But you body shame girls and then it's nothing to you. Nobody that. Would you like if somebody goes and be like, oh, you're fucking ugly? No, no, no. Like if in front of she was person. being disrespectful, she deserved it. platform. She deserved, she deserved, it. deserved it. You know why? Whatever. Because I gave you girls an opportunity to be on a platform in front of 20K people. So yeah, yeah. Boom, there the, you go. the average guy is people DM these guys DM me all the time. Chris, let me get me the pod. I say, nah, nigga, you're <laughs> you're a dude. But you, Chris, can I come on the podcast? Like, yes. it's honestly, it's, it's <laughs> honestly, yeah. Like it's yeah. a privilege. It's a privilege. Like, it's a privilege. like honestly, <laughs> like bro, like real talk, you're a regular girl. Like you're a regular girl and you're in front of tens of thousands of people. Yeah. Like a guys are gonna get that opportunity. This is life changing, by the way. You know what I mean? Like girls get crazy to Dubai. from being here. This is a great opportunity, and like yeah. you know, you're over here making yourself look like a fool, which is cool. It's it, it is what it is, but it is what it is, man. Like and even still, we don't even understand the privileges that they get. And even still, she'll get DM saying, "Oh, don't worry, they're yeah, being mean okay. to you. Yeah, I'll fly you up to yeah, Dubai. I'll, you out, blah, blah, blah. I'll be your 14th body. You yeah. know, what the, whatever. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's just crazy, bro. We got some more chats here, by the way. <laughs> yo, yo, oh, yo, man. Okay, all right. Let's so we got world. Nobody shame. No, no, uh, no. You're just trying uh, to make us look dumb, but no, you've done, you done that yourself. I know I You've done that yourself. Holy. You have done that yourself. And the more you talk, the more you make okay. it worse. You Holy. have made it yourself. Y'all being selfish as hell. All I'm hearing is me, myself, and I. <laughs> Ladies, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Know your role, <sighs> shut your mouth, listen to some higher and fresh, or else you'll be single three or four is used up in this room. It doesn't matter no. what you think. <laughs> The delusion of this panel is off the charts. This is what happens when you don't tell women the truth. <laughs> if you ladies are smart, you will put your emotions to the side and listen to what men are telling you. Chris, keep cooking Boo. these 304s and I'll tax them heavily. Right. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, bro. Long, Fuck body, body positivity. I think body positivity is bullshit. If you're fat, you should be made fun of. You need to lose weight. Go to the gym. I think we need to stop with the body positivity. That's what I, I think personally so I think just for your health as well. If you want to do better I mean, for yourself, that's great. It's unacceptable yeah. to be fat, bro. Like, it's un you're from France. You guys don't have that many fat people. Like, how are you going to sit there? Yo, like, well, look, if you're working on it, awesome. But if you don't know... How long have you been in America? America? Two months. Oh. Already <laughs> poisoned. Too yeah. late. Too yeah. Late. Corrupted. See, y'all think that this is just a Western thing, bro. Corrupted, bro. Like, yo, or an American thing, man. I'm, man. Don't be retarded. She has the feminism bullshit in her head. Uh, okay, 13 bodies with those trips, at least 1,300 Richards in her. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> uh, what she just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard at no point in her rambling incoherent response was she even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought everyone is now dumber for having listened hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron Martinez when I paraphrased what you said earlier right bro like I was trying to figure oh, out oh you talking about the black girl yeah oh. no I, you know I paused I was like what was the argument there like there was no type of I'm like that was a dumb thing to say anyhow um, here we go Hockey stick this is, says this is a one of the toughest panels, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. it's been uh, yeah, definitely a little bit different. All right, you guys have impacted my life for the better. Been hitting the gym, dropped three hundred to two seventy, and in a month and a half, I have been getting my life together, creating my value slowly, every step by being a step forward. Keep up the great work. Shout out to you, bro. Street intellect says, question for the panel: For a woman that's twenty five years old, for example, at what number do you think her body count is starting to get too high? What do you think? She's for sure. Too huh? high at 25. Her first. Yeah. Um, huh? Mars gone, so I want to start her. Oh, you want to start? Yeah. So, at what number do you think is too high for a girl that's 25 years old for body count? Honestly, honestly, like anything higher than 10. Okay. For you? I agree with her. 10? Yeah. Copycat. <laughs> 15 and up. 15 and up? 13. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't judge. Just maybe like, yeah, 13. That's you though. <laughs> no. I, I didn't have like 30. But they said 13. at 25. Oh, th 30. 13. Is that your number? 13. Yeah. But what? My number is 13. Yes. Not 30. So I asked you, what number is too high? Is it 30 or 13? 13. Cool. 13. <laughs> she has more bodies than 13, bro. Uh, no, yeah. I don't. Bro, looking at those pictures, you're out here getting flown out and shit like that. Man, bro, like, like you cannot. Okay, so I have parents. I make my money. I don't take money from men. 
no, they're not. Okay, then there's no way. And as a club promoter at Van Dome, you ain't making that much. I have bro. another job though. A blow job. And what? I told you uh, I created also like an application. To be traveling like that, you got to be making six figures. I know you ain't making six figures. No, just my parents are intelligent and they just had money aside. To you just said you don't travel. have. The, they don't have money. They're not rich, but they have money. Like uh. We're or not homeless. Flying out to be Dub- on Dubai. They're not homeless. Who said I went to Dubai? I just well, traveled. Okay, Bro. we go. We're gonna leave. I'm not band. rich, but I have money. Look, That's you can fool everybody else. You ain't fooling us. No. When girls travel like that, we know what time it is. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Bro, I just know what I did. I'm not fucking lying. If I had thirty body, I would have told you because I don't care. No, you do care. That's why you're reluctant to answer before. I don't care beginning. if I tell you that I have 13, buddy. It's the fucking truth. I don't care. If I had 30, I would have told okay. you. I mean, 13 is still a lot for 20 years old. But okay. Maybe it's a lot. <laughs> maybe not. I don't care. I just did my thing and I'm happy Yo, with you it. definitely did your thing. I'm but... proud of myself. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go, queen. Yes. Uh, we... And go my queen. value didn't went down because of this. Bro, if you have 13 bodies and you're only 20 years old, by the time you're 29 and you think you're going to be married, you're probably going to have 30 bodies or 40 or 50. No, yeah. because maybe there are not going to be any men that I will want from this time. Like, okay. not in Impossible. Miami. I don't like Impossible. Guys. So you work Just in Miami the at truth. the club. You don't think you're going to fuck anybody else? I didn't. It's been two months that I've been here and I didn't fuck with them. Nobody? Because... You haven't fucked one guy? Just one guy. So. And I, it's the truth. I, I was swear. about to say, because I'm about to ask people. <laughs> And if they I call you people. out, I'm going to call you on the show. Yo, I fresh. Because I, I know the owners, I know the, the, owners, the yep. promoters there. You can tell, so uh, okay, tell you me that you're yeah, capping. Yeah, yeah. You can ask anybody. Okay. Ever since I was in Miami, mm-hmm. it's been two months. I only fucked with one guy. And I swear to God, it's the truth. You only fucked one guy? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. You can ask whatever you want, whoever you want. I swear that's the truth. I'm, I wouldn't mind telling you the truth if it wasn't. You paid like, for all those trips? What is trips? Those trips your on your vacation, Instagram? Your vacations. My parents did, and I did for some of them. You paid for them by yourself? My parents. All right. There was no, never a guy involved in any of those pictures? What? Promise. <laughs> I swear. I mean, <laughs> okay. How can I prove it to you? How can I prove it to you? You only know girls from Miami. Is okay? your IQ over 75? <laughs> What is IQ? even from there. I don't even know what's IQ. It's been two months that I've been here. You're telling me shit. Okay, I don't even smart? understand. Cap. What about is... you? What? At 25, high. Yeah. I would say 10 and up. Okay. Yeah. Robbie Celeste says, y'all are the goats. Do you still first think single friends are good for their relationship? Probably. Uh, you know, no other podcast is going to go this, this hard for y'all, man. Everybody else is too scared. All right, Myron. So understanding women outside of the USA is a better chance to find a trad woman. So for example, me, not a millionaire, but up to six figures. If I find her, should I stay out of the US or what? Here in the States, bro, it's a matter of time. What's your take? I mean... Bro, you just got to understand female nature because no matter where you go, the girls are just going to dress it up a little bit better. Like if you go to Colombia, they might like finesse you. They might like sell you that purity or whatever, but that doesn't change anything. You still have to understand females regardless. Uh, it's not going to say the passport ain't going to save y'all, man. OK, it won't. It may delay some shit, but you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, the red hair lady said Al to fresh if he gave me a neck for money. Okay, ladies, that's how most men think about women who do that on camera for all you to see. Ladies, you think your sex past will affect your future with finding a strong, healthy relationship? Does your sexual past matter, ladies? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. 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 Yep. France doesn't think it matters. Uh, (laughs) My value will go up. Okay, (laughs) let's keep going. Uh, Here's my last 50 catch. The rest in the morning. Keep fighting the good fight, brothers. I appreciate it, bro. It's tough, man. I'm losing hair. I'm confused. Is it only wrong to call a woman fat or just a human being in general? A human being. What do you call this friend fat? I call my friend fat. You didn't say nothing. He was okay with that. No, it actually hurt his feelings. He identifies it as does. anorexic. Yeah, that's he's, why he's just in the gym. laughing right now. No, he, that's, he, that's why he's in he the gym. He said he's anorexic. How dare you? I'm anorexic, uh, Mario. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what the fuck, bro. Okay, sure ladies. Fuck, bro. 
This is um. Wait, wait, hold on, first we got three more paid uh, calls. Cool. Okay. okay. That. That's the last ones here. Yeah, last three. Guys, um, have your question ready to go. Three All right. Calls. Losing uh, hair follicles over here. Seven five eight three. Go ahead. Genius world. This one's been tough, man. Yeah, that's yep. tough. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm the army officer that called a while ago with the girl that had six body count. Uh, y'all clowned me. Turned out y'all were right. <laughs> Broke it off with her, and now I'm on the way to law school. So I really appreciate you guys' help. So my question for the ladies is going to be, do you guys really think you wear makeup for yourselves, or is there really another reason behind why y'all wear makeup? Okay. Do y'all wear makeup for yourselves? No. I mean, it could be for both yourself and you want to look good for other people, too. Maybe Which one's more important? <laughs> other people. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you? Other yeah. People. Other people? For sure. Yeah, other people. What happened to doing it for yourself a second ago? <laughs> I mean, you can do it for yourself, but it depends on the situation. Like, if you get in an interview or you're going on a date, you're going to put on makeup to look better. Why do you think women put makeup on in mostly? If you're a general. waitress, even. To look more attractive. Uh you ha- your money depends on how you look. Even yeah. if you're a waitress anywhere, mm. you have to look presentable. What about you, France? Why do you put makeup on? <laughs> do it for myself. Like, <laughs> like she said, for me. for me, feel prettier. Yeah, to just feel look good prettier. with myself and also for the people. What are you doing more for? To feel good about yourself or for the people? I mean, like both. Uh, if you had to pick one, more. Mm, I mean, maybe for the people. Because if I look ugly, like, I'm going to be like, everybody's going to look at me. and then I'm If you look ugly, no one will talk to you. I'll fly you out. <laughs> no, it's not about that. It's just I'm going to, like, not feel good. Like, when I don't wear makeup, I'm just less confident, I'd say. I don't know. All right, man. All right. No, she said for, for she, other she, people. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. All uh, right, bro. Hey, glad you got rid of that fucking 304. She was selling your purity hook, line, and sinker, and you got rid of it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, last you caught one. it. Uh, one six five two. Last one. Go ahead. Hello, y'all hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Hey, so, uh, ladies, my question is: How would y'all feel if a guy y'all go on a date, right? He wearing a muscle suit and he wearing lifts in his shoes. That's exactly how <laughs> me and feel when y'all wear makeup. I'd feel catfished, <laughs> you know. And, to, and me and to the dumb French girl, you need to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, you savage, nigga. What the hell? Don't do Marco. Marco. All right, that's funny as fuck. Yo, yikes. that's what every guy that's ever been on a date with her is thinking like, bro, oh, oh my yeah, God. <laughs> fuck. When am I going to smash? This is tough. No. Uh, what, what was that? No? Okay. I mean, I know I don't look that bad without makeup. Like, it's okay. What? What? No, come on. Come. Cause, what? No, so, stop he talking, said... man. Let me get some chats to read. For the French uh, woman. <laughs> Yeah, Yo. yeah. You, you know what? You read it. You read you it. You want me to read it? Yeah. Go ahead. For the French woman, from a scale of one out of ten, how likely are you to switch bodies with the woman of the red wig and gain two hundred pounds? Ooh. That's yeah. a stupid question. I'm not no, that's actually oh, a really good no. question. Oh. It's stupid now. Oh, Don't stupid. body shame. <laughs> Don't, Don't body you shame. switch places yeah. oh, with I'm that not girl. Gonna, like Wait. switch bodies to like with anybody. Even if you tell me like switch bodies with Beyonce, I wouldn't do it. Well, okay. she's old. So, but if yeah. you were 200 pounds overweight, let's say, would you want to stay 200 pounds overweight and be okay with your body? Because I would love you myself. To lose weight. Oh, we weight? know that. All right. So, wait, yeah, wait, wait. So, I here, do. here's an option. What if you lost your arm or we had to choose her? What? So, if you were to lo- lose your arm what? and you had to switch bodies, would you choose your life of one arm or would you want to switch to her body? The big girl. And then lose weight. Red we're hair. talking about like that's an handicap to lose a. Uh, Arm. Yeah, you lose an arm or you get to be a big girl. Which one are you doing? Be a big girl. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, what? Right. Well, I don't want to be handicapped. Uh, I don't we'll know how to say that. Okay. Robbie oh, Celez. Two arms. <laughs> she well, said, well, actually, he was saying what? What on one to ten? How likely? So the answer is more like one. More like bro. one is one. She ain't switching, bro. Not because uh, she has weight or anything. It's just because for any like nobody, I will exchange my. Uh, but I don't even know how to say this shit. Bro, she ain't switching because yeah, that bitch yeah, fat. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> let's keep it a thousand. She says, Robbie Celeste, she says you can't tell call a woman fat, but she can sit there and call men broke, broke at the beginning of the show. That's not the same. It is the same. Yeah, it's it's the functional equivalent. Men and women aren't the same, so you have to different use different things. Like a broke man <laughs> is like a fat woman. Same thing. Yeah. That's 
that's not the same. I can call a woman broke, broke, but, but and that I, won't insult her. It doesn't have the same impact. No, a broke woman can still get a rich that's man. That's a fact. Being like broke is just if you're broke, you're broke. No, yo, it's the same. If, if you're, you're fat, you're fat. Yo, you know yes, okay. And I just said it wasn't good to France, call people France, fat. France, be quiet for two seconds. Do you no, not understand? That's just not the same. France, you're France, like, France. You want to make me France. look dumb, but I'm no, just you're doing telling that you. You're doing that already. 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 That's just not the same. Look. Okay. A broke woman can still find a rich man if she's pretty. Yeah. I don't want that. I want to be independent. I'm not talking about you. And, but, <laughs> what yes. the fuck? Yo. Yo, this girl's <laughs> retarded, bro. And, no, and the, the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, my head hurts. Yo. No. no. What? Okay. And, God, and a broke man. guy no. can find a rich girl. That can happen too, right? What? No. No. It could. Not what? Really. What could happen? Bro, you live in America. Yo. I don't even, uh, bro. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't uh, even know how you guys work. Uh, I'm just telling you. man my... is the same as a fat woman. Both are unattractive. Okay. A pretty girl can still get a rich man. A fat man that has money can still get a pretty girl. That's the point. Yeah, but what you were saying is that, like, I called somebody broke, broke, and it was like. As like bad as you called the girl. Yes, like, that's fat. like a girl being fat, fat. <laughs> broke, Bro, broke is like fat, fat. Okay, okay, you know what? Whatever. Just, just before you speak, just think about it. No, she's not been thinking the whole show. That's the problem. <laughs> it's too late now, bro. It's too late now, bro. I think this is probably the best example I've ever seen of a girl that just has never been told how the world really works. I know how the world works, but I don't want to be in this shit. Oh, yeah, of course. That's why you. Uh, I live you in my out. own world and I'm good. Oh, with yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. explains why you're dumb. Yeah. I mean, I'm not dumb. I'm yeah. just. You, you, maybe I'm just better than you. Ooh, you just don't know it. Just don't know okay. it. That's your truth. Maybe I'm dumb for you. How, maybe how, for me, I'm the how, like, how most are you? intelligent okay, person. Explain in to the me world. how you are, are better than me then. Go ahead. Because I'm not dumb like you. <laughs> you just say shit that, bro, it doesn't make sense for me. That's just. Because you're dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's why maybe, it doesn't make sense for you. Because we don't live in the same world. We <laughs> no. don't have the same opinion. You're like fucking. I don't even know how we say this word in English, but uh, like it's... you just think that women are object and they're less better than men. And I when don't think I that, that way. When did I say that? That women the are way objects. You, the way you treat women, the way you speak about women, like your value goes down i don't agree with this shit that's just what i'm saying that's and the truth though for you i'm dumb for like thinking this for me like you're dumb for telling the girl sh like her value goes down because she fucked with like guy that's just dumb for me this is the truth though no it isn't for you it's your truth it's not my truth you do realize that there's only one truth right uh you you got science in you what the fuck? yo <laughs> that, that's just, that's that's true, like, DNA. yo there's no. just one truth. The truth is objective. The truth is that women are like hoes for like fucking with guys. That's the truth. I never said that. I said, as a woman, the more sexual partners you have, the more your value goes down. Yeah, to men. and that's the truth. Yes. No. It's been that way since forever. Send the asteroid. That's a society, but that's not the truth. That's not scientific. Like, scientific? Right. I don't Actually, know. Actually, it is because the more partners a woman has, the chances of her being able to stay in a marriage go down. So it is scientific. And what about you? Actually, for a man, it you doesn't can affect stay them. In the... A man I can know. still, yeah, statistically speaking, a body count doesn't affect a man the same way for marriage as a woman. Yeah. Think about it. You're receiving, <laughs> we're giving. Okay, I'm I dumb, can, guys. I can, I, you are dumb. I have a study that proves that. Okay. So, I mean, I if we want to be scientific, that's that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try to speak French. I don't know. You're trying to make a friend of me. Try to speak French. I'm going to laugh at you the same no, way. I can speak Arabic. Scientific. I can speak Arabic, so Arabic and I'm going to tell you, Inti Homara. That means you're a dumb Okay. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> then I don't give okay. a fuck. Oh, 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 this is the end of the show. Yo. Okay. Oh, 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 this is a great bro. show, by the way. <laughs> okay. So we're going <laughs> to... What does that mean? I don't know. Like, just speak French then. <laughs> I don't speak French. Okay, that's cool. I no, speak no, English. I can speak another language Mo. too, but... Mo, okay, translate, Mo. Good. Mo, translate. No, I'm not Creole. Okay, Creole. Huh? Okay. I'm Creole. I'm not Creole. 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 Oui. I speak Creole. Du coup, t'as compris ce que j'avais dit? Non, t'as pas compris. Okay. Whatever. Comment t'appelles tu? Thaïs. Okay. Hello, <laughs> what's up? Get the fucking rocks up, dude. Okay, so uh, this last part of the show, ladies. So give us a question, comment, or last thoughts on the show. How's the show for you? Questions, comments. It was interesting hearing like all the other girls. 
and their thoughts and what they think. Just saying, bro. You just say Just say They're just dumb saying. as fuck, bro. You know it. <laughs> you know it, man. It's like, goddamn. It's just interesting to see how other women think. <laughs> She's nice about it. What about you? Everyone had great opinions. Come, well, we were come saying on. facts, bro. <laughs> I mean, we were saying facts. I mean, opinions, facts. Everyone has a lot of them were facts. Yes, they're research everywhere there's a bible <laughs> you guys can read it in the bible it's there um a woman of god here? <laughs> yeah a little bit. anything else that's it no <laughs> it was interesting to uh, watch <laughs> yeah. i'm sure what about you i could understand guys frustration um because like <laughs> oh some of them... yo you was funny right <laughs> the Not... beginning of the show she was like Fuck yeah, niggas. And she was like, oh, I didn't say fuck anybody. I mean, more or less, you were like, this niggas will talk Listen, shit. She's right. me a sweetheart. But she's didn't sound at her very <laughs> beginning. The end of the show, I barely like, even got you, to you answer some why, of the questions. What, so. You see now why men don't aren't honest with women? Yeah. There you, there go. you go. When I said the frustration, I mean like the mindset, like the stubbornness and like the the not being willing to like see the other point of view. Basically, look at her face. She's like, <laughs> yeah. I was getting frustrated myself. Like, bro, <laughs> yo, can't fake this, man. What about you? <laughs> it was interesting. You're gonna go party after this? If I'm gonna go party, nah, this? I'm just gonna sleep. Yeah, you need to sleep. You need to sleep, bro. <laughs> you need. You need your rest. You need your soul soup, brain soul. Your smart rest. You no your rest. This is the most you start in a very long time, bro. <laughs> right. Okay. Normally it's like, okay, do not the fat bitch in the whole section, okay, okay. Oh, no, no, the fat bitch here, okay, okay, give me tip, okay, boom, done, right? Now it's like, oh no, I must drink, oh, this is tough! <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, what about you? Oh, Lee. Uh, I had fun. I think it was a fun Fuck time. Fuck you, you had fun. <laughs> 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 uh, I think people should open their eyes a little bit more to see men's perspectives because I don't for, care some about reason, men's perspectives. for some reason, for some reason, we know. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, we know. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, somebody Bro, said, stay single for life. Somebody said, yeah, Please maybe rest those two brain cells you have left. <laughs> If it's to be with men like you, I'd rather stay single forever. All right. Oh, no, that's happening. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are getting cool. in the sex only category. No, okay. <laughs> no, I don't even want to fuck with this. Yeah, of course. Okay. Fine. Oh, I mean, so, by whoever deals with you, they're going to be like, bro, my, so, my, my head. No, nah, they're we happy. Have, don't worry. We have tomorrow a trip to Houston, Texas. We're going to be posting tomorrow some videos on the channel, right, Myron? We're posting tomorrow. <laughs> it, Podcast. Yeah, we're gonna post a Sneeko video with uh with Moist Critical, bro, because yeah. Moist Critical cut out a bunch of the stuff in the podcast. Actually, Zena did the timestamps for y'all, so that will drop tomorrow night for you guys. Um, because Moist Critical is a loser, and uh, yeah, he just didn't. He obviously withheld a and bunch of stuff in there. He spread fake news. Yeah, he 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 cut out the parts that made him look bad and gave commentary over it to try to you know put some false narrative and morality high ground like reaction channels normally do. So we're gonna drop that for our boy Sneeko tomorrow. Because Sneeko doesn't have a YouTube channel, and obviously Moist Critical use that to his advantage to paint a certain narrative. So we'll give you guys a full video so you guys can come to your own conclusion. And uh, yeah, if that drops tomorrow, get the book, Why Women Deserve Less. Um, especially you French yeah. niggas. Yo, I did not know oh, that y'all have girls like that oh, in your man. country. This is an L for France today, man. It's bad, bro. Get this book. I mean, I might need to get this book in French. Yeah, you, you, you do. You do. I might need to try to do it. Try to do it. Well, well you ain't translating. Fuck that. <laughs> but no, I'm gonna have. I might get this thing in French. I actually, Angie's working on it for Spanish for you, you guys should. right now. Shout out to Angie. But yeah, bro, get this book, man. Why women deserve less? All my French niggas, y'all need it. God damn, I didn't know it was that bad out yeah, there, buddy. Uh, so yeah. We'll catch you guys in the next episode of Fresh Fit. We'll be back on Monday. Peace. Peace. I ran, I ran so far away.